Hypothetically, Let's we're live. Hypothetically, we're set. Can you <laughs> believe it? I think, yeah, I think we're here. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, that's mm. we are. They're good. Okay. Welcome to the stream. If you're alive, if, if you're awake, go to sleep. No. <laughs> No! I'm watching now. That's me. That's that's me checking on the stream. All right. <laughs> Hello, Bumumo Origins. Yeah, this is loud, so I'm gonna click this. So, um, for those who don't know, Stardew is the first thing I streamed on my Twitch after I started like doing that as a thing, because my hands were broken. They were really broken. It's so tiny. <laughs> it's so small. What why is it? The... Why is it small? How do I unsmall it? Uh, there should be a toggle zoom function. Here we go. Window borderless. Oh no! There we go. Oh, that's better, baby. Yeah, give me one hundred percent. So for those who don't know, Stardew was like the first thing I streamed. You may be aware that I have named, this is still really zoomed out. Uh, mm -hmm. You may be aware that I frequently name my main character on things like this, Bumumo. That is named after my son in Stardew. This is Bumumo. This is him. I don't remember. Is it what that my... one or is it the? Is I'm it the pretty other? sure it's the boy. Yeah. Um, so this was a 100%ed Stardew Valley run. Uh, oh yeah, wine has color now. Um, <laughs> oh, and it also lowers your speed. Um, so this was a done file. This was a done file. This was done. <laughs> I did everything. <laughs> And now, okay, here's, we got Snooch, we got Gropely, we got Kaboo from Kirby, we got Pi. Um, I did everything in this run. I've crafted every single item at least once. I've made every recipe. I did all of the things. I 100% of the island. I got all the walnuts. This is my beautiful wife. Guku, that's my other <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from what I saw from another streamer checking in on their perfection file, their perfection is now at like 92%. Ah! 90%. <laughs> well, I did. Uh, here's my farm, I guess, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'll let, the, I'll let the Junimos do it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh yeah, I get a. Here's my statue of perfection. Where I get a prismatic shard every day. This took so long. It took so long to do this. <laughs> and now I have to do it again, you understand. Ugh. All right, where are the, where are the Chivos? Cause there is one, right? Oh, and I don't know what mastery is at all, actually. Uh, Go down by where you found Robin's ax. Okay, I'll go there in a minute. That'll take a second. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Oh my god. We got so much shit. I don't I don't need money, right? I don't need to harvest any of this, right? Like I bought the well, gold if clock. You want, yeah, well, if you want the easy way to get perfection, you can now buy it technically. <laughs> this is my it Does wife. cost a lot of money. Oh, what? There's a gift log? Oh, this is so nice. Yeah. This might not even be new to this update. I've just never seen this. I think I think those have been around, but it's one of those things that it, people don't know it exists. <laughs> Look, man, the, the Stardew UI leaves a little something to be desired, if I'm being honest. Uh -huh. Also, not in yet. fairness, not like it helps me now. Bumumo, uh, Bumumo is my daughter. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm like Yoshikaga Kira over here. <laughs> Just like, yes, my child. Um, what is your name again? 
Oh my god. This is my son, Bumumo, holding up Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing you. I got all hey, the Hey, chat, can you still baby toss the toddlers? You should be able to. I need to. to know if we can get the crit baby toss. Crit? Uh-huh, that's my favorite Whoa. line in the update log. Look at that big-ass tree. Uh-huh. Uh, that one can fall over and then house a animal friend. All right. Yeah. Cool. That's where you get new things. Probably should have grabbed my horse, but... Triple shot espresso. Yeah, so, um, luckily, the one achievement I was- I would have refused to get again, I could get easily and already did. What's this? This is mastery. Okay, combat mastery, what do I do? Uh, there's a letter in the bottom corner. Okay, you found the secret room. Within these walls or some stuff. All the best. By coming this far, you've proven you're awesome. Uh, I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to make the fine. Okay, man. So, to get into this room, you need to reach level 10 in all skills. Uh, and now, any EXP you get goes collects towards a singular goal. And when you hit the goal, you get a star and you can claim one of your mastery things. Oh, you no. You get special buffs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be doing so many more Stardew streams, aren't I? Okay. There is the benefit of now there is the bookseller. And the bookseller gives you books that give you a lot of XP. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly going to be book hunting because let me tell you, this, this makes me angry. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Okay, where where are the Chivos? They, they were here before. Inventory. Uh, I think they're, I don't remember where they are now. Here they are. Uh, there. Yeah. Ugh. Most of the new achievements are just catching up on things you'll get throughout the game anyways, like yeah. go, like partaking in festivals and stuff. Infinite power. Okay. I, I do know that. Help your forest neighbors grow their family. Don't know that. Okay. This is the... This is spring. So this is nice. It's like right at the start of a year. Yeah. Blue ribbon. That's the Stardew Fair. Read every book. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's Bumumo. That's our man. Is this the first nubby appearance? He's on Hat of Low Boyfriend. He's the boyfriend. I assume I haven't I'm watched one it. one of them. I'm the worst options. <laughs> you are. Don't, don't pick any of the oh, ones right. I voice. <laughs> oh yeah, you have a horse flute. My horse has a hat. Yeah, you can put hats on cats and dogs now. Oh, you can buy turtle if you max out your friendship whatever for your pet okay Egg and that tells you uh that's the bookseller days bookseller is over in the corner with the other uh, dinguses blacksmith and stuff it's up top above the movie theater oh yeah. This is inconvenient. Oh, a secret note. Great. Sure. <laughs> yeah, man. I have notes to collect. Shit. Fuck. All right, hang on. I don't like that the map, when you click the map, you can't tab over to any of the other things anymore. Um, yeah, that's no good. Let's see. Where was it? Secret note? Or... No, here. I wanted to... Huh. Okay, they probably just added two more. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, Grandpa. When yeah, I'm... mastery. Cool. Got it. Okay, so that's here. Well... There's also two more, two more logs for hardwood. Or that's... stumps. Do they regen every day? Uh, I think so. Not that's, sure if every day, but that's nice. They should reach in. Oh, and it okay. Well, it's nice I can see it. Mm hmm. 
You know, I wish Grandpa informed me of any of this. All right. <sighs> Fine, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> I built this place with my bare hands. <laughs> All right. I have to. I have to invite someone. My long-suffering wife, I think, deserves to see a movie. Wait, hang on. What movies are showing, actually? And that does play into it. I've never played up on, like, Stardew. Um, but I did play, uh... Sunhaven, uh, a, a little bit with Oz. Mm -hmm. Um, which is just Stardew, but made by somebody else. <laughs> um... Uh -huh. And uh, one of the things I do, I, I know that like, is get Stardew gets a lot of complaints for that this that that Sunhaven did that I liked, is it introduces a magic system to the farming aspect, so that if you do a certain like thing for long enough, so like you know, gathering or crafting or you know, chopping trees or whatever, whatever the thing is. Uh, if you get good enough at it, you can learn a spell that just makes it, like, infinitely easier. So if you chop, if you chop down, like, 50,000 trees in the game, or whatever, eventually you can just use a magic spell that goes, I use my pen and stare to instantly fell every tree in, like, a three-mile radius. Um, which is really convenient. Mm. Uh, and I was just reminded of that by watching you just walk over to a stump and hit it with your axe manually and I'd go, I would, this game would drive me insane. <laughs> she feels like an I apple slice kind of girl. Sorry, yeah. I she would, does. I, yeah. I would not play this game for as long as you have if it did not give me shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Penny likes whatever this movie is that we're seeing. She does. I was checking it. <laughs> The brave little sapling. The brave little sapling is leaving his home. He hesitates for a moment and turns around, knowing he won't be back for a long time. Ma'am, uh, we've got the we've got the narration for hard of hearing people on in the movie. Uh, can we? The other saplings of his grove are gathered at the edge of town, excitedly waving their twigs goodbye. Okay. Penny seems to be holding back some tears, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Fenica, happened. that one piece of fan art of Fenica crying at Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> wow, it must be really hard leaving his family like that. God, that just reminded me of a. Uh, there was some, something that people found of like, if you ever go to a movie with Penny and her mom is at the same movie. She'll have a line of dialogue about being so happy to see a movie with her family and you. Uh, but also, if you ever take Penny to a movie, her mom is set to never come to the same movie. <laughs> God, that is just on brand. <laughs> Pam is awful. Yeah. Farewell, little buddy. Choosing apple slices as your, like, movie snack of choice feels so wrong. <laughs> I would love it if movie theaters served apples, honestly. That's great, Penny. Uh, anyway, I am a, I am a certified Penny hater, chat, so I just brought her here because she was the first person I saw. <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault that Abigail is fucking stacked. In terms of, like, she's, like, the easiest character to befriend. She's the best. She has purple hair. Her dad's a wizard. Oh, yeah, the fish tank is now a fish tank. Alright, I'm gonna go to the mountain peak. Oh, yeah, a waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall's down. Hang on, there's a fucking cave down there. Oh, yeah. What is that? I horse can't go over know. here. Horse can't go there, yep. <laughs> it's fine, you have a horse flute. That's true. I'm gonna keep forgetting about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and remind you. Oh, it's oh, just yeah, a it's way one of the shortcuts. over here. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that That wasn't new. It's uh, 
at some point Robin offers you to make shortcuts around and everyone forgets about them. It has been a long time since I've done this file. So mm-hmm. this is very much me looking around. Imagine giving up an inventory slot for the fucking pan, by the way. This is a this right. is a really good shortcut. Thanks yeah. for building this, Robin. Really great building <laughs> job, by the way. I really like the new waterfalls, actually. Yeah, they look nice. Do you know how fucking long this took to get every <laughs> single one of these monster slaying quests? What? No, oh, yeah, the phone. There's a phone? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's been around. There are some things I just don't use. Uh-huh. I haven't I haven't heard much use for the phone, other than uh, to cheat with it by using the, like, name number generator thing. Do you have a book? You feel like someone who might own a book that I could buy. I think he does have a book, actually. Yes, he does. Oomph. You have another book? No. Let's take a look at this. Oh, but he does have big stone chest recipe. He learned a new power. Show me my power. Yeah, I... These, like, excited me. I'm just, you know, annoyed that mm-hmm. I have to get them on this file now. Mm-hmm. And I think... If it hasn't counted for all the new recipes, that is new recipe there as well. Oh, no. What? Big stone chest. Bigger chest. I... Hang on. I don't believe... Okay, yeah, you can see how many you've crafted. Well, technically I already have that achievement, so I don't really need to craft everything again, because that kind of sucked <laughs> ass, and I don't really want to do it again. That's fair. Let's see. Achievements. Do I still have crafting? Yep. Cool. Hooray! Hey, as far as the game knows, that's Hundo P, baby. Do you think my wife will be upset that I went to... Oh, yeah, I've already got Leo from the island over here. Oh, yeah. What about the achievement in my heart? No, there isn't one. (laughs) Oh. No. Leo's cute. Oh yeah, that was another thing you can get. Uh, I think you find it over at Ginger Island. There are tent kits now? Yeah. I I got those in my other file. So Uh, for anyone who's never been an idiot and hundo peed Stardew, uh, here is the last thing you unlock chronologically. (laughs) Though when I went up here before, it was pitch black, which I believe was a glitch. (laughs) I've seen these other trees. Yeah. Oh, it works now. You come up here and your wife is like, I'm so proud that you worked for years and didn't talk to me even one time. <laughs> All right. Sick. Coffee time. Do oh, you I have horse whistle. I do have horse whistle. I was checking if I had the return scepter. Which I must somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. I'm I'm sorry, are your tools made of iridium? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, and they've That's been... that's bad. Is iridium real? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's it's a highly radioactive material. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, don't worry, Nubby. I've got <laughs> an even better material to show you. Check it out. I say that like I know where anything is in this file. <laughs> yep. Radioactive bar. <laughs> Nubby, would you believe that people It says it and causes screamed. irreversible bodily harm. <laughs> That's Would you believe that people cheered and screamed because Mastery unlocks the final Iridium tool, which is the Iridium Scythe? 
Why would you need that? I don't even know what you it don't? Could, I don't know what it could possibly even do, to be honest. <laughs> it, it literally just it literally just takes the place of a mod that is harvest all crops using scythe, which is faster. <laughs> oh. Cool. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh well. Let's boom boom. Can I pick you up? No. I think they're no. too old. I think they have to be like babies. Damn. Check it out. Damn, we can't crit baby toss. What the hell? Oh. Oh, this is a... Oh, yeah. It's Aloha. This is a cool... This is a cool assortment. I'm glad I got those. That was smart. What the fuck Hello, do you children. think you're doing, Hello, Cuckoo? Children. That's right. Go to bed. Mama's gotta harvest some shit. Well, I've I've got some shit in my pockets, and maybe I need it, maybe I don't. Here it goes. I don't need that, I get one every day. Okay. Junimo, thank you. Why did I plant blue jazz? I don't know. I think I just like how it looks. Probably. The flowers really are a pain in the ass for the inventory. <laughs> yeah, I wish they didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rare Crow. <laughs> That's fine. Here are the rats. They can be there. <laughs> Better there than my inventory. Oh, uh, one thing I know I need is 10 diamonds. All right, I've got six. That's pretty good. Love hearing the pop, pop, pop sounds of this game again. Yeah, my, uh, my crop of choice is blueberries. Mm -hmm. Because they're so satisfying. Oh my god. Look at this armada of wine barrels I have. <laughs> What's this? Something in front of me? Get Something, rid of yep. it. Seeds. This is my vineyard. It's weird that they're colored differently now. Hello, alien. Cool, man. Alien, the only oh. rare crow that can wear a hat, and it's not wearing a hat. I didn't know it could wear hats. I don't really... I think most of the clothing options in this game look kind of ugly for how hard they are to get, to be honest. No, yeah, you're right. I could age all those, but, like, that's just another fucking step. Mm-hmm. The actual farming in Stardew Valley is deeply boring. <laughs> <laughs> I play it because it's an efficiency game, and I have a mental illness. <laughs> More wine! Do I have my friends? Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's all ancient fruit. <laughs> I oh see. God. You were like gearing up to get more wine and then immediately veered into another room. <laughs> no, I, I went into the greenhouse because I wanted to see what was in here. I figured it would be blueberries, but uh, yeah, I guess this is the most cost-effective option. But does it bring the most joy? It doesn't bring the most joy, but I will be pretty happy to eventually sell what appears to be about... God, these are so hard to see. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's one more, and it's in the line of that, um, uh, second to right sprinkler. Oh, yeah. Kind of towards the middle. Right there, you just passed it. Right there, where your cursor is. There you Thank go. Thank you. What do I got in here? Oh seeds. boy, more ancient seeds. And some next to some radioactive ore. <laughs> That's Let, good. <laughs> let's get it going. My farm will never be audited. <laughs> <laughs> There's some strawberries. I don't care enough to pick them up. This uh this really is we're doing it. <laughs> it's just... Do high star value fruits age faster in barrels uh not i don't remember okay i'd assume no 
Oh, right. They have to be wine first. Luckily, I think I have a couple barrels open on my farm. Perfect. I'm gonna... This is fine. Making wine! It's the best thing to do when you need to spend four in-game years. Oh, hey, Junimos. You guys got some stuff too, huh? That's <laughs> great, man. That's sick. That's so awesome, dude. Oh, man. Look at all these barrels. They bubbling. Oh, wait, I know what I should be making, actually. Mm -hmm. I should plant some fairy rose, if that is an option for me in this season, because- I believe that's fall. Fuck. <laughs> Dreams crushed. I like that I've got a hundred blueberry seeds. <laughs> Just because. How much, how much did I get for that? Pretty fucking good, actually. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Hello, wife. Yeah, these exist now. Mystery boxes. What if one of them just detonated in midair? <laughs> Radioactive ore. Why do you have a stampede of flamingos? I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> anything on this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's it's it's too much for one page. Hmm. Oh, I see where the money came from. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Cool. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Was one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is. I'm not gonna say it's fully optimized, but this is an obnoxiously profitable farm. Mm-hmm. Boomumo, why are you in a helmet? Because you put a helmet on her. Shut up, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. She has no agency of her own. Where is my beautiful wife? Outside. That was correct, haha. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this thing generates to radium more. <laughs> That's just on your front porch. You've been taking really good care of your pet. Oh, okay. There's a life fee. Marnie's. <laughs> I've been taking really good care of my pet. Yeah, I know its name. <laughs> Oh, there's an animal tab, so you can check it now. <laughs> yeah, but, like, then I have to open it. <laughs> like, that sucks. <laughs> oh, hey, Strawberry. <laughs> you know what? Holy shit. I I'm gonna leave the Junimos to it. <laughs> I think they got this one. I don't know for sure. I know there's a thing now. They mentioned that raisins are Junimos favorite food, but I didn't get as far as seeing what that actually does when you give it to them. Raisins? I do know there's a uh -huh. couple there's a couple new, there's like one new crop per season that just generates um, well while I'm I gotta have the return scepter somewhere, right? I must have bought well if I didn't buy it I can go buy it right now with uh -huh. my fortune used to color code these, but it really looks like they're just what the fuck ever now. <laughs> Gave up. Oh, I could craft a farm computer. Um, I have these horrible men. That's <laughs> nice. Uh, you can't... Can you get to that one? Not directly. Why? What am I doing? <laughs> what is the point of that? <laughs> okay. Uh, well... Huh. Off I go. Cool, I made it to the island where I've never been before, probably. <laughs> oh, 
That was you teleporting. I was like trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> I went. It looks like a. It looked like a plane just like did a flyby and strafing run took you out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going either. Rania dies of heart attack, age 32, from coffee. That's very accurate. Oh, this is the main character of my stupid Fire Emblem fan game, by the way. <laughs> and I decided to give her a reprieve in an alternate universe from her... Oh, no! <laughs> no, I'm too good at this game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? It's cranberries. Ah, I <laughs> I, like, what's the point? Why, am I, why would I bother? I assume it was from you trying to get the golden clock. Yeah, I. so I don't even think I said this directly, chat, but that big totem I used to teleport, each of those, those costs, I don't know, like a quarter mil, which is, even at this stage, kind of a lot of money. And... Uh, there's one item required for perfection, which is the golden clock, which 10 goddamn million dollars. And I 100%ed the rest of the game in two in-game years and had to spend straight up four years grinding for that stupid clock. Here's the bastard's room. <laughs> I hate this guy. He is hungry. Uh, no. Oh, 100 of each item? Yeah, man, whatever. Okay. Oh, you're at 97. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Fish caught. Okay, there's some new fish. That's fun. Cooking yeah. recipes made. Only probably two more. Not a lot of new crafting shit. Yeah, I got a lot of gr great friends, 100%. There is no one left on Earth. They love me. Um, <laughs> yeah, shit. Okay. A Junimo chest. I actually have some. That's a surprise. A Galaxy Soul. Okay, hang on. Galaxy Sword. I actually... I actually do need some Galaxy Souls. Um, you need three of these. I think. Is this not the ultimate weapon? I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. I have to upgrade it. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Galaxy Sword? I'm good at this game. <laughs> okay, is this where you put the hundred things in? Probably. Well, uh, I think I've got a hundred red things. Yeah. Farmer cast Giga Flare. <laughs> I love her cute little bow. It is cute. She's wearing a, um... She's wearing a little moon shirt because she's got gravity powers. Or no, her powers are... It's dark magic, but hers are magnetism themed, actually. She's got a, she's got moon theming to her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're, you know this character, actually. I do. You had me design her before a million other things happen. <laughs> yeah, we didn't finish doing that. Oops. No. Hard attack juice. Drink it quick. Feel free to ask questions, chat, so I have things to talk about while I do. By the way, you have triple shot espresso, which I think is faster than the coffee. You know what? I bet you're right. Oh, it's... Okay, hang on. I think it was in there. I'm not sure. No, it's just plus one speed. It's just for longer, I bet. Yeah, it's for longer. Ah, I see. I see. Who's my least favorite NPC? Clint. 
What am I, a fool? Pierre is also pretty awful. I hate that guy. Mm hmm Do I actually drink coffee? No, I don't drink any coffee. Can I tell you a little bit about the Fire Emblem fan game? It's very gay. Um, I started writing it like five years ago as a side project for funsies. I've got a little too much going on now to um, touch it. I have to be writing epithet and stuff. Oh, am I gonna be in future Super Mario, actually, what is it, Super Meme? I should know, right? I'm in it. SMG4 videos. Yeah, I get two songs. I get two oh, villain boy. songs. <laughs> that was cool. You're missing a cranberry behind that palm tree? That's on purpose, probably. You ever deal with executive dysfunction? I don't think I have that one. Like, I can't... I can't really do phone calls, but that's kind of its own thing, you know? That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm just, I'm trying to, yeah. I mean, I gotta yep, master it. that works. Why I plant all these cranberries? Uh, initially because I needed to make ten million dollars. Jello, the palm tree. It's fine, Flair. Some cranberries <laughs> must be spared. I'm back. My god, you're actually harvesting them. Because they uh -huh. get me the experience I need for, um, really rapidly for this thing. Oh, I see. <laughs> he doesn't care, Flair. He's a tyrant. A bastard <laughs> ruler. The, uh... The part of me that will idly watch a lot of Stardew videos is also just thinking of... Uh... Do you have pigs on your farm? On the other farm? Um... That's the other, like, really big money-making thing, is truffles. Truffles are pretty good, yeah. Though, um, they don't have a lot of spots to dig on my farm. That would be the problem, yeah. My, my other that's, file... That's what I've seen for full, full optimization, get as much fucking money as possible, is just clear everything out, make room for only pigs. It's just fucking go with it. <laughs> just a casual 600 cranberry. Here we go. There was more than that. Uh, like... don't... You need those for the thing? I already put them in there. The... the Grange. Right? Oh, okay. No, I already did. Okay. You scared me. <laughs> I mean, even if I threw them away, they would respawn before the end of the day, uh, the end of the challenge. That's fair. Okay. The only way to travel. Have I been watching any of this season's anime? No. I don't usually watch anime, though, um, Yam and I just watched the first season of Link Click. How's that? Are any of my friends streaming right now? I don't think so. God, what a waste of five walnuts to build this bridge. <laughs> What do you think the fastest way to get four diamonds would be? Uh, there's a book you can get, I assume, from the bookseller that ups your chance of getting diamonds anytime you mine by hand. Well, I've got great anything. news about how you unlock that book. It's by paying this guy ten diamonds, which is what I am get at, uh, getting the diamonds for. That's the only damn. book I found on my other file while fucking around. Damn. Uh, I think uh, get fucking lucky. And or maybe the uh, desert festival. I don't know when that is, but I know I there was a bunch of things going on. Where is that? That would make sense. I was surprised to see among things there, they brought back the uh, spouse weapons that went unused up until now. Oh, did they? Yeah. Those are actual things now. That's cool. I actually, come to think of it, this is not a good place for gem farming. Mm. Let's see what uh, let's see what this thing does. Okay. 
I love that they made this dungeon to be like, please upgrade your watering can, please. I swear it's not a waste of time. <laughs> when are we gonna get another Dokapon Kingdom playthrough? Don't talk to me about Dokapon Kingdom. <laughs> Among other things, he's in the Dokapon mines. Yeah, I'm in a lot of mines right now. In and out that of the you game. are. Farm. You're in a lot of mines, crafting a lot of things. <laughs> Seems to me you're always in or out of mines. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's the most useless thing I've ever grinded for? The Meta Ridley Trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Where would I rate the Great Ace Attorney compared to other Ace Attorney games? It has the best cast by default, but it uses them pretty badly, which is sad. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's see what other things I have. What mine am I closest to being free from? I'm not really close to any of them, to be honest. But at least I've got cranberries wine. Oh, um... You are gonna want to get, uh... There are things to buy from Robin and things to buy from... Willy? You know, it's like a fish smoker and like a dehydrator. Oh yeah, I, I should just be checking. Oh yeah, here's the mannequins you can get. Uh-huh. I, I don't like those. Oh, there's worse ones that are called the cursed mannequins that move around and steal your clothes in your sleep. <laughs> Why would I want that? For fun. I <laughs> don't Stressful think... is more like... <laughs> hey, guy. Oh man, no way. Okay. Fireworks. Yeah. Green. Nice fireworks. Red, green, and purple. Wow, 20 farm totems. It's actually pretty good. Mhm. Mm That's pretty cheap, too. Just a thousand? Oh yeah, and they limited how much hardwood you could get because that's all the, everyone else's way of cheesing getting money. <laughs> oh, each one is for a thousand. Okay, that makes more sense. I always do that. I always assume that's like I've been playing too much Fallout. No, I get where you're coming from. You think it's gonna be Jello's... all of that? I'm punk, Flair. Leave me alone. I'm <laughs> punk. I'm punk. I'm not owned. Jello, have you ever been to a place? No. All right, let's look for some time. What is this? I believe that's the. That's, um... that's the idol from the Temple of Doom from Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what that is. I was gonna say that's the hard switch, but that's not where the hard switch would be. Maybe there's think. a hard switch for the Skull Caverns now, which. If oh so... yeah, there there should be. If so, yuck. Uh-huh. I oh. do think that's the thing. Dogs. Yep. Uh, mummies operate by Gidbo rules. Hmm? You have to blow mummies up with bombs. I wanted to explain oh, that. Oh, yeah. Chat. I... Man, let me tell you. This... Whatever ring I've got on that blows stuff up. Oh, I can't be damned by, I can't be damned by slimes. I can't be damaged <laughs> by slimes. That's pretty good, actually. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be damned by slimes. Nice. Oh. Looks like it works. Invincible. Purple. Fuck yeah. Oh, what are those? Oh, it's carrots. Bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb, baran. Nice. Shit, I don't need this one cinder shard. 
Carrots. Cool, I can start growing yeah. those. Hey, gang. Hey, gang. Out of the way, please. Excuse me. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, you can feed carrots to your horse. All right. You can go faster? I can't... I don't know for sure. It's hard when when you're playing a game that you check the wiki for and the wiki isn't updated yet. Yeah, that was kind of the other reason. I was like, I don't need to gun it. Like, I don't need to play this update immediately. Mm -hmm. Because, like, Stardew is one of those games where, man, you- it's Hey, a monster game. book! No, give me- hey. I, I don't care what else I got. I- Get the fuck out of here. What's this do? <laughs> monster compendium? What power does that get me? What ability do I have now? Monsters have a small chance to double loot drop. It's pretty good. Yeah. I don't even care that you're attacking me. Oh, I did forget that this bomb ability does blow up things you can pick up, which does high key suck. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one of the new uh the uh new recipes you can do is moss soup. There's moss on trees now. I did see some of that. I, like, had such a train of thought. I saw that thing and I was like, oh, it's like a fire-breathing stegosaurus. That's kind of cool. A fire-breathing ste stegosaurus or a quadrupedal Godzilla. Is Godzilla a stegosaurus? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> kind of, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I should probably be a little more careful than I'm being. Fuck! <laughs> I actually have a really hard time dodging the fire on these guys. Yeah. Is there someone else here? Hey, man. One. Come on. Listen, chat, I know he's not actually a stegosaurus, but, like, he's a little stegosaurus core. Okay, you gotta admit. <laughs> a dark cowboy hat. Well, oh I'd be a plum fool not to take a dark cowboy hat. As per usual, everything looks terrible except the bow in Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that dark cowboy hat is Mr. Keys. I think not his has a what different he wears. name. I think his was just called Keys Hat. Yeah. Asshole's hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I drink the wine? Yeah, I can drink the wine. It doesn't give me very much, though. Go oh, okay. I was trying to eat the thing in my hands, but, you know, <laughs> you do you. Takes out fish. Holds it for support. Apple. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna throw it away. <laughs> I don't need it. Um. What... It's in my hands like I'm going to plant it here. <laughs> might that might be the worst <laughs> usage. <laughs> it is kind of nice to play this game and not have to be like, what am I gonna need these resources for? I'm just like, I don't need them, period. Uh-huh. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, great. Considering how late I started, this is a really good Skull Cavern run, actually. Ugh. Yeah? Doing the Skull Cavern without stairs to get to floor 100 sucks so bad. It's just not worth it, because the only difference is Key... Doesn't nag you? Calls... Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wow. Wow, Stardust, also, you, can... you did it. Also, you can totally use the stairs if you just get lucky near the end and don't use them. He doesn't know the difference. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what, uh... Like, I've seen people do that. Like, they've they've cheated and gone down a few steps fully expecting to be negged by him. And then gotten lucky and, like, dropped down naturally enough times to get to where he was. And he's like... You did it! And you did it without cheating! How amazing! 
It's like, okay. <laughs> I love you. Mwah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you think that, sir. Go ahead. Hate that guy. Uh-oh. That's why I don't even bother, even though I even though I know his name is spelled in a way that's supposed to be pronounced Chi. <laughs> I refuse. It can go either way. <laughs> Man, whoever came up with the system of I'm gonna die. Whoever came up with the system, I'm gonna die. Mm, that's not the right thing. There it is. Lol. What if you took the dragons back with you? Then that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty funny, inarguably. That would be hashtag a memeable moment. I'm very amused by someone going, Jello Apocalypse! You are bleeding out! <laughs> <laughs> My wife is so used to me coming home at the ass crack of dawn covered in blood. She doesn't even ask questions anymore. <laughs> Do I have... Hmm. I'll think about it. Ding, ding, ding. Give me all the stuff. What is this? I don't need that. You can have the stuff. <laughs> Abigail's not telling you about her farm. <laughs> Abigail can do whatever she wants. I like, I like how he made an effort of like... Yeah, if you upset your spouse right after your marriage, they won't pout in bed all day if you do it within the first week of being married. <laughs> hey, Boo Moo Chella's just like, Abigail sleeps in my bed and is pretty. She can do whatever she wants the rest of the time. I don't care. <laughs> this farm is all for her. I, I work myself to death and check off the checklist for her. And not the achievement list. We have to make sure and give Boo Moo Mo a lot of attention now that we have Goo Goo. <laughs> Mwah. You insisted that this, these would be the names <laughs> of our children. God, I just remembered a time when you were playing this, trying to perfect it in the first place, and Boo Moo Mo was dead set on standing at the stairs over the cellar. God, Boo Moo is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I have the perfect solution. Oh, Fizz. Meet me in the watery Fizz. cave on Ginger Island. Exciting. A new villain. A new enemy. <laughs> to <laughs> defeat and So kill. that's what money can be for. <laughs> hey, I'm down. Maybe. We'll see. Um, uh -huh. All right. Those are probably red. I'm looking for things that I can um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give to Mr. What's-His-Nuts. Bug me. What else? What else? Oh, eh. I do have a hundred void essences. Slime. Let me do. Is slime something? Let's find out. Let me check. Yeah, I might need. I might need you on wiki duty. Of course. We are playing Stardew Valley after all. We are. The most granular <laughs> game. What do you guys got? Strawberries? Oh, oh. right. I forgot. Uh, bug meat counts as purple. <laughs> Does it still? I thought this update this update was literally supposed to fix a bunch of shit. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I can look up I can look up Key's prismatic grange on uh, the sources that come up are 3 years old. <laughs> That's fair. Well, <laughs> Oh, I've What's reached a new level of understanding. Do? Does it do anything, or does it just sit there and The be golden expensive? clock is the fucking... It's God's little joke. Um, so in this <laughs> game... Awful. Technically... Technically speaking, your fences and paths degrade over time. And the golden clock prevents them from degrading and weeds from growing on your farm. But weeds growing on your farm is not an issue because weeds don't go through fences. And fence is degrading isn't an issue because they degrade at a rate of, like, degradation four years. And it's like, damn, the only reason I'd play this game for four years 
as if I was trying to get the golden clock! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that thing. Yeah, I can find I can find no updated sources on 1.6 prison right, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Is that why it's in a faraway corner where you never have to look at? It? Literally, I assumed I didn't even have it on the farm out of spite until just now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that thing. Anyway, let's talk to my least favorite guy where he's not open yet. Let's look through his garbage. Nothing. Just like what's inside his heart. Open up Clint. Wait, I can go anywhere! I've got the key! I don't care what time it is. Open my box. Pancakes! <laughs> Why? It can be anything. It can be any random item. There's something so funny about seeing a, a random box fall from the sky and having pancakes inside of it. That and the way he opens the box is smashing it with a hammer. It counts as a geode for some reason. Uh -huh. he, just, he just like put a cardboard box and like, hey, can, can you open this for me? Yeah, sure. He just like smashes it with a mallet. Thanks, goes, oh, Clint. I guess there were pancakes in there. Watch just oh, another fuck. to upgrade? I forget. Good. Hooray! Thank God. Yo, shoutouts to the uh, iridium trash can I keep in my pocket, which turns my garbage into money. Hey, man. Uh-huh. Ooh, a magic rock candy. That's good. That's, that's real good. That's the best. That shit's amazing. I bet Abigail would like having a big skeleton in our house. <laughs> it's like not even a joke. She's so weird. No, yeah. I know there's new uh, house upgrades too for even more room. Oh. I remember seeing the dining room and the placement for it is fucking ugly. <laughs> Stardew Valley a lot of the places are is ugly. <laughs> not a game where I understand why you would take the time to customize it. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Oh, it's 12 o'clock for me. Time to do the wordle. They do have this thing I'm, now. I'm so fucking yeah. on top of these wordles. I, like, don't want to miss one. It's an obsession. <laughs> <laughs> Oz says bye, nub, in chat. Oh, good night, Oz. Because some good. people are into decorating, Jello, but the decorations are ugly and they're really hard to get. <laughs> like, I understand the impulse. I, I just think this game really hates you if you want to decorate. Ooh. Fish smoker. Delo yeah. You will need that what? for what? forest friends. What is sea jelly, river jelly, and cave jelly? Things to get. New fishies. Okay. What? Not enough room to summon horse coward talk. I wish this horse went even faster. Ah, uh, you gotta feed carrots then, I guess. I think. Oh, they destroyed the tree. What oh. happened? <laughs> well, whatever. I think that at this point in the game, I should be given, instead of a horse, Sebastian's motorcycle. That would be rad. Sebastian is the other really good option for marriage, except that he explicitly wants to leave Stardew Valley and settling down with him is sad. Okay, mm -hmm. I have one star, let's see. Iridium Scythe uh, gets you a unique blessing every day. That's pretty good. Oh. Permanently doubles a farm animal's produce. Doesn't work on pigs, lol. <laughs> I can now encounter golden fishing chests. Advanced iridium rod. Use in the water to catch a fish up to two bobbers at once. That's pretty... I actually love the idea of challenge bait. Mm -hmm. Each time a fish escapes, the fishing bar catches or deuce. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty useful since I'm looking for diamonds. I'll take that for now. Oh, do I have to... Okay. Oh, those are crafting recipes, I see. 
All right. What do I need? Oh, what do I need? Where's my stupid little guy? What the hell is this? Monster Musk. Ain't that the guy who owns Twitter? Hmm, 20 Iridium bars. That sucks considering I was using, I was gonna use Iridium for my purple. Monster Musk. Oh, well, there's the bug Halloween meat and dance. there's the bug cave. <laughs> That's true, bug cave. Where's the bug cave? Which area? Oh. Which is? There's not actually that many bugs in it, though. Like, Damn. There's only like 20. It's actually just faster to... Well, I guess I don't know that for sure. I'd assume, uh... Huh. Yeah, what are, um... Can you, can you look over the items to let me know what, like... The only one I have is red, so... Yeah. I see a guide for all of these. Do you have anything new? Butterfly powder. Sprinkle on a pet to remove them from your farm. Uh -huh. Fucked up. So you can <laughs> so you can dove your fucking your fucking pets along with your kids. Cool. Don't want that. <laughs> like try it. It's like oh, I don't know what I'm expecting, but I'll give it a shot. And you like sprinkle it on your cow or something, and this giant eagle just comes down and s scoops it up. Oh. A vo void Essence does work for purple, so you can use that. I can, but Void Essence is... Eh, I guess Void Essence isn't that hard to farm. It's uh, the other one. It's the Light Essence that's kind of a pain. Yeah. Oh, Fiber. Yeah. Fiber is an easy green. Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to burn money, the easiest for blue is buying a shit ton of Joja <laughs> Huh. Normally I just use my infinite blueberry factory, but I guess I gave it up for money. What you I did! Doing? You went with cranberries. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Some sort of gross soup? Yeah. Oh, is that the moss soup or something? No, that's just algae soup. That used to be in the game. Damn. Hello, bug. Goodbye. God, I hate I hate the bugs. Something I hate about smacking bugs so much. So, something about smacking a bug and having it just detonate. Uh huh. Yeah, the the flying bugs in this game are the real bane of my existence. Anytime I want to like get back into this and start a new thing, because uh, they're a loud buzzing noise in my ear, and oh, that's my yeah. one specific yeah. thing. Yeah. I forgot the bow weakness. Mm-hmm. Boink. All right. Um. Hmm. Does copper count as orange? That it does. That's probably what I use. What else is orange yeah. that works? Uh, earth crystal. Okay, that's not easy to farm a hundred of. Yeah, for real. Uh, let me see. Anything else that would be easy? Yeah. This is a smart place to use tappers. I didn't even think about that in my other file. All right. Um, let's. Oh my God. These even have extenders on them. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, carrots. Oh boy. Here they comes take three the, days. Here comes the armada of wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people online call me when I complain about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> as no, a, yeah, I think uh, Hopper's as, your best bet. As a okay. non-Stardew player, uh, I guess as, as succinctly as you can, it, describe to me what, to, where in the in this game is is the fun. So, <laughs> this is probably the worst way you could be introduced to Stardew Valley possible, because this looks awful. Um, <laughs> it's, it's got a really good early... I think the first year of Stardew Valley is really fun. Um, mm -hmm. I think yeah, past is... that point, it's kind of a, 
do you have the brain worm that makes you want to get all the things? So the main game of Stardew Valley is that there is a community center filled with bundles. And it'll be like, to finish this bundle, you need this kind of vegetable and this kind of animal product. And once you get it, like it repairs part of the town. So your goal is like building a community center. And also, um, I'm not really engaging with all the characters because I've 100 percented them, but it's fun to throw random items at the NPCs to see what they like, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's also got a really addictive gameplay loop because there's a lot of stuff that's like, oh, this will be ready in one day, or oh, like on this day, you'll have the chance to get this thing. And so it's very easy to be like, just one more day because I've got one thing that's happening on that day. Oh, another thing happened? I guess I'll play a little more. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Also, there's mushroom trees. There are. That's pretty fun. Yeah, this is this is the opposite of boiling the frog. This is tossing a frog straight into boiling water. <laughs> I, Nubby, the way you said, that's pretty fun, was like a father over a newspaper <laughs> being like, what would you say you enjoy about the pocket monsters? Oh, you collect them all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, nifty. That's, that's neat. That's neat indeed. <laughs> no, I'm, I just your like... mother and I are getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got an easy one for your uh, Grange. Uh, hay for yellow. Oh, that is extremely easy, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Though, perhaps a little less easy than normal, because, uh, I do not have any cuttable grass besides this on my farm. You should be able to just grab it from a feeder in the barn or something. Oh, that's true. Though it looks like I've blocked myself off. I guess I should say hi to my aminals. I didn't remember this game having ostriches. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey guys. The idea that like of a father going to their kid and being like, I gotta broach the divorce issue <laughs> with my child. How do I how do I organically involve this in a conversation? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get what Let's talk about those pocket animals. So, uh, pocket monsters, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that is a... Sorry, that is a smart place for a bin. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's take ourselves up on that offer. I mostly just want to clear this out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got a blue chicken! Oh, yeah, because you're, you're friends with Shane. Allegedly. Oh, cool. They uh, they updated it, so night falls when you're indoors now. Oh, Wait, yeah. Hang on, I actually might want that sap. Sap's also a pretty easy yellow. Mm-hmm. Right, there's no more. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can grab hay from the thing next to the mayonnaise machine you got there. Well, theoretically. Money means nothing. You might need the silo? God yeah, damn you, it. I think I can get around. Okay. I don't... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I would have been stupid enough to... No, because that's the farm teleporter. I don't think you uh -huh. can... Can you take hay out? Uh... I guess not. <laughs> it's alright. I'll just buy some from Marnie tomorrow. Yeah. Jello, thoughts on the Pope? Not a lot. <laughs> He's poping, I guess. Thanks for coming to my stream. <laughs> Estoy poping. Estoy <laughs> poping. Ain't that the name of Mary's friend in the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> this guy's about to shit out of Ruby. Marty and poping. Jello, and... thoughts on modern Pokemon games? You're baiting me. <laughs> <laughs> they are all negative. Okay. That's green. All right, well, these still count as purple, apparently. And uh... wine must count as something. P 
Popin? Ain't that Snufkin's buddy who lives in the valley? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pee really quickly. Be right back. What's got you down, Popin? <laughs> hey, hey there, Popin, baby. <laughs> So what you been up to today, Bo? Not much. Just needed a breather. I should probably mm. call it in just a minute anyways. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait for Jello to get back, because it's three in the morning for me. He's late. I don't blame you. It's late for most people. It's even late for us, and we're, mm -hmm. we're Pacific time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Open, don't give it up, Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be king of the Catholics! <laughs> <laughs> uh, as much as I'd love to continue wiki duty, I think I need to go. Yeah, it's very late. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> good night. Good night. Have fun, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for being. Yeah, well, bye bye. That's that's too bad. I was earlier today, and Bo was a part of it. We we finished watching the live action Avatar, and I was hoping we could find a bridge to talk about how terrible it is. Oof. <laughs> Surprising no one. <laughs> He got religious! How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking of JoJo Part 7, actually. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. His name is Luffy. Gonna be king of the pirates. Wow, a man takes a pee break and 30 of you gave up. Fruit. Happens all too often. <laughs> For Men. every piss you take, 30 people give up. Every <laughs> Hashtag piss isn't you worth take. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching you. <laughs> Sometimes I pee like somebody's watching me. <laughs> I have no privacy. <laughs> Whoa. Man. <laughs> <laughs> When I was hanging out in person with Oz a couple months ago, at one point, the, um... I, I love that Abigail's like, I'll kill you if you try and beat me in the icon, you piece of shit. <laughs> um, when Oz and I were hanging out, at one point he goes, drank a Shirley Temple, was like, oh, Shirley Temple make you cold. And I immediately went, Shirley Temple make you cold. Shirley Temple make you cold. And it's been in my head for a long time. In a much cruder sense, I've been playing Helldivers with Will a lot lately. And it's got like a, a very unique, like, it's got a very memorable, like, theme song. Um, but when you're diving into a mission, it goes, ba 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 bum 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 and as we do, we like put lyrics to it, mm -hmm. and at one and I, I I haven't been able to stop since. But at one point, uh, our our like you know fake lyrics devolved into talk a big shit, 
felt good. <laughs> the willest shit you can say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like hanging out with this caveman. <laughs> Is this the cave? Well, I don't see that guy. Well, the one person who could help you left, so... <laughs> I could look up the wiki, but I wouldn't know what anything means. Yeah, it's <laughs> like... fine. I am five pounds big and tummy hurty. And the glass was big. Bimkin Skaramushki. Surely death will make you cold. As much as I complain about my job, one thing I appreciated about it is, like, my coworkers are cool enough to, like, like, if we're having a rough day, we'll do silly voices. <laughs> as, like, a coping mechanism. <laughs> like, uh, one of my supervisors and I have, like, a running bit of, like, when one of us is on bar and the other is in support, we'll always call out whatever we need in, like, a silly gnome voice. <laughs> so if I'm, like, running out of, like, peppermint syrup, I'll be like, June peppermint! <laughs> from, like, across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah, this'll be about as fast. Goodbye, yes. horse. Or not yesterday, but two days ago, it was like... Little... Little... Oh, what you... Uh, little townsy... Towny... Town crier voice! <laughs> that, that's the one we were doing. I was trying to find the words. Little town full of little <laughs> people. I was like, Nubby, I need you to peel the barn. I was like, all right, I'll switch the barn. I'll clean it in the back and then I'll come back and peel this barn. I'm very amused by Nubby, where the emphasis <laughs> is on the B. And I... It reminds me of, I don't remember what character it was, but Savvy was reading some character like this, and we had named a character Boomoomo, but he kept pronouncing it as Boomamo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Boomamo. There's an aminal catalogue. <laughs> a dark dog house <laughs> for e. Oh, yeah, I can, uh... Yeah, I forgot I can... I can make a golden chicken now. I might as well. Never done it. I mean, you know... You learned a new power life. about aminals, Boomamo! The power of life and death in <laughs> your hands! Oh, you can access Morty's shop while she's not around. Thank you. Fucking God. Anyway, what animals can I buy? How's the weather? What are you, Jerry of the Seinfeld variety? Adopt pets. Cats and turtles. Why is this one so expensive? No cats thanks. Cats and turtles. Using them like hurdles, so I train my legs to jump good. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Moss. Moss. <laughs> Hello, my loving wife! I brought you a pile of moss! <laughs> that was kind of my joke, was that I was just like, Abigail is the most patient woman alive. Like, she's just putting up with my bullshit, running out and working for fucking four years. Like, no, I'm providing for the family. <laughs> Um, and at the end of the game, and I did stream this, I don't know if it's, like, still recorded anywhere, but at the end of the game, uh, she, your, your partner meets you on the summit and is like, wow, how far we've come, and she showed up, and I'm like, she's here to push me off and kill me and take <laughs> all my money, and she would be right to do it. Mossoop 20... Fucking why? <laughs> 
For whom does the moss soup? All right. Ask not for whom the moss soups for it soups for thee. Where does this go? Oh, okay. That makes a bit of sense. Ten feet left. <laughs> yeah, that's not super smart. <laughs> You did waste a billion gold on a stupid clock, but it prevents weeds. <laughs> and it only took four years of my marriage! That's like, that feels like something that's so hard to calculate in universe that it has to be a scam. <laughs> it's like, if you put this clock on your farm, then no weeds will grow. <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty easy to detect as a scam, actually. <laughs> Surely Temple make you cold. Oh, my mouth. Can we have a jello sound? What do you mean? Like... <laughs> Abigail is having an affair with a skeleton. Abigail can literally do whatever she wants. So long as she sleeps in the bed and is pretty. Or alternatively, wah, 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 wah. Now, now would be a great time to get that cranberry. Fuck! <laughs> Total earnings seven million dollars. <laughs> this isn't where I wanted to go. <coughs> Oh, wait, Willie, do you have more things for me? You don't understand! It's not a scam, it was sold to me by a wizard! Oh, <laughs> uh, he's got some rods. He's got the rods, he's got them. What the fuck is this? Sonar bobber. I feel like every time you go to a place looking for these books, it's like... No one has seen this character in, like, six years. And then one day, suddenly, it's just, like, bright flashes of light all over town. Just psh, landing in the middle of, like, a spot and being like, Box! Box, where are they? And, like, going, like, running up to NPCs. Do you have books? I, yeah. I literally just got some books. Feed it to me! <laughs> Give me power! <laughs> What's my favorite movie? Um, Knives Out, Princess Mononoke, and Emperor's New Groove. Those are really good picks, Jello. Thank you. <laughs> the need for affirmation. I don't need affirmation. I just... <laughs> <laughs> You made a little guy voice to affirm you. No, I didn't. That was someone real. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm in the evil mind. Hang on. What? Oh, wait. Um, yeah. I forgot I'm in the evil minds. They keep evil here. <laughs> Surely uh, Temple make you cold. Those are good movies. Although I didn't expect um, Knives Out to top uh, Princess Mononoke for you. They're about the same for me. This squid. Why am I doing no damage to this squid? What the heck? What's going on? Die already, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Surely Temple make you cold. I will read the secret note. There's no better helper than a raisin-fed Junimo. That sounds like a weird euphemism that an uncle would say. Oh, you know those uncles always euphemizing. Always eulogizing. <laughs> Why does always the squid have a laser out. gun? Uh-oh. This is There's a... more of them. Yeah, I'm good. This is an evil dungeon. It is an evil dungeon. Um, I actually don't want it. I, I'm trying to farm low-quality stuff, so it's actually bad that it's spicy right now. In for a penny, in for a boring life! That's what I always say. 
Yeah, hang on. Let me let me roast the Stardew people. Oh wait, there's I was about to call it mold. That's not right. It's this. It's moss. I need 20 of them apparently, which is insane. Yeah, let's so Stardew people. Oh, is she naked? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, how did that happen? Whoa. Wait, hang on. I have to go home right now. <laughs> My wife is naked. I can't sense it. <laughs> this is the first time she's been naked in years. She's <laughs> like taking a shower and you're like... A... <laughs> she might be at the pool. Oh, yeah. There's a hot spring. I should probably visit my wife at the hot spring, right? Say hi to her. Oh, let me get this golden egg out of my inventory first. What would you say? Hi, you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> I came running. <laughs> <laughs> I just want... <laughs> Hang on. Okay. I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd run in the moment I got naked. <laughs> I'm... Lash looks fine. Is okay. Is Lash the chicken or the dinosaur? Sordo. Goodbye. I never see enough of you. You only come running if I'm naked. Well, I'd be around more if you were naked more. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's no good. Golden egg, please. Golden. No, there we go. Hey, gang. Hey, gang. <laughs> Dinosaurs are worth nothing. I'm sorry, that's dino racist. Listen, Abigail, what, what do you want? I give you a home to sleep in and five million dollars every day. <laughs> She's like, I want my wife. I would like to see my wife every once in a while. And I'll be like, crazy. <laughs> Is she still naked? Yes. I'm, I'm normal about it. I hope that's the right teleporter. Yes, is exactly where I wanted to go. We are about to go swimming with my wife. This is like when a Victorian era woman would reveal her ankle. <laughs> Fuck, she's not here. <laughs> Chad, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> if she's not here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm gonna do it this time. For I'm real. really gonna do it this time. Oh, she's at the <laughs> island. What the <laughs> hell? It feels like you're. On the I'll be time waiting right. in my swimsuit. <laughs> It le it legitimately feels like you're on a timer. It's six thirty p.m. now. How much longer will she be naked She's on the gone. island for? I fucking beefed it, gang. <laughs> I got uh, get pranked, Sim. No, <laughs> she's my. We've been married for six years. <laughs> Failure. Ah. Oh. This is you like get back home at the end of the day. She's like, where were you? <laughs> I'm like trying to play it cool but I'm visibly weeping <laughs> she put her clothes back on you loser you cucked you think the golden clock could stop time so I could see my bikini wife <laughs> bro this sucks man what's even the point this is bullshit! <laughs> Great, now I have to look at my fully clothed but still attractive wife. This sucks, man. <laughs> Alright, what's up, lady? Abigail it? portrait! 
Fuck yeah, now I can look at my wife whenever I want. <laughs> This, this is the best. Today was worth it. No, there was time now. Time enough at last to see my wife. Abigail, do you want a cowboy hat? A dark cowboy hat. For evil and fucked up cowboys. I don't know where she is. It's Goo 30 and she's not in bed. Goo -goo. <laughs> your mother's I know you've abandoned me, Goo Goo. <laughs> I know you've been jealous of your sister's knight's helm. I brought you a cowboy hat. I think they have to be out of bed to do it. <laughs> there you are, you beclothed uh, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know how to hat a child or a wife. I'm going to bed at 9 p.m. Apparently you knew once. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> What's the haul today? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right. Where's Boomumo? Where is Boomumo and my wife? Where are they? They left you with Goku in the divorce. <laughs> No, I clearly want Boomumo. <laughs> yes, that's my first out loud reaction <laughs> in front of my child. Oh, thanks, a bomb. Hey, Abby. Where's our son? I don't know where the fuck our son is. Or our daughter, I'm sorry, Boomumo is the girl, right? I don't fucking. You which, have. Wait, which, which you have you want Boomumo. Boomumo. <laughs> yes. I wanted Boomumo, not you, Guko. <laughs> I fuck, mother, I am Boomumo. Oh no. <laughs> Howdy. Where the fuck were you? Where were you? Get back here. How do I put this on? <laughs> You've been promoted to... <laughs> what did the vet send you a bomb? Um, you know why. Kent... Kent is having the worst time of his whole goddamn life. Kent can't go one conversation without going, I have PTSD from the war. <laughs> it, it's not the best writing. <laughs> hey, gang. What's up? It's me, your boy. I can't believe I just insulted my child so badly to their face. <laughs> I wanted Boomumo. <laughs> Father, I, I am For, First of all, what the hell? Either way, <laughs> you know I'm going to have to go to therapy about this eventually. <laughs> I am... Father, I'm as Boomumo as I can be. No. Boomumo died in the accident. You'll never <laughs> replace them. <laughs> Mommy, I am Boomumo. I am Boomumo. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> Who's ready to have so much money? Maybe then my ch I wonder why my children don't love me. Maybe if I'm richer. <laughs> the void will be filled. I wonder what it was like naming your kids. It was like, well, since we already have Bumumo, I was I was thinking we could name the boy after my after my dad. Oh, Goku's a great name. <laughs> I think I think Abigail named our children because I just hit the random button, which is where Boomumo came from. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stardew has an infamously weird. 
randomize one. All right, there's the egg festival today. Yeah, like those are names that I hear and I go, you had to have done that yourself. No, no. <laughs> No, Bumumo is a hundred percent all original. <laughs> so it was. Rally. I would like to name the boy after my father. Goog. <laughs> and her father's name is Pierre. Is the wizard's name Goog? <laughs> Abigail is secretly a child out of wedlock. Her dad's a wizard. Stardew Valley. Um. Okay. <laughs> So, it's the Egg Festival. Chat, is it rude if I don't attend and let my wife win? Or do I compete earnestly? If you were obsessed with finding Easter eggs as what must at this point be a 30-year-old woman, at least. Destroy her. <laughs> She's genuinely pretty hard to beat, actually. Okay. Are you going to well, put that portrait up, or are you just going to keep it on? I was going to put it up in my uh, beach house. I guess I'll do that now. Should I keep it in my pocket at all times? <laughs> yeah. No, I love you. See? I, I keep this framed portrait in my pocket. That's the type of shit a badly written show would do to try and redeem an awful character at the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> he really did love his wife. <laughs> Even though he'd sucked ass. <laughs> okay. Dink. Dink. Okay. I'm gonna put this away, and then we're gonna head back, and then I'll destroy my wife. Here she is. Competitively at egg collecting. <laughs> and in no other way. Before I do not interact with my wife. <laughs> I don't like the idea that you can divorce in this game. And mm -hmm. hypothetically, if you're getting every item in the game, you would need to <laughs> marry every single person. <laughs> and get all their pictures. <laughs> it's egg time, baby. Oh, a plush bunny. I feel like Abby would like that. That's why you're not gonna let her get enough to get it herself. <laughs> Listen, she's... She's gonna be so upset. What if this is it? What if this is what makes the divorce happen? Alright, so I'll... Since everyone's here, I'll go over the cast. Uh, Linus is the wild man who chooses to live in nature. He's alright. He's a nice dude. He's probably the easiest person to befriend. Sam is very boring. Um, he's like, he gives me big teenager who spends all his time in a band that's going nowhere energy. Which is like fine, except he's like, I'm gonna make it. Sam looks like a Goku. No, that's my child. Uh, Sebastian is the best. He wears... He's a hot motorcycle boy who wants to not be here. Alec... Uh, I had voices for all of them when I did this stream the first time. I'm pretty sure Alex was just this. He's a football! <laughs> Clint is the worst character. Clint spends all his time on 4chan talking about how women don't like him enough. He looks divorced, yeah. Oh, he was never married. <laughs> uh, Pam is the second worst character. She's Penny's abusive mom. She sucks terribly. Mm -hmm. Gus is a nice guy. He runs the tavern and he keeps everyone in town well fed. He's a cool dude. Shane has really bad depression. I've seen a lot of Twitter posts about that guy. He arguably has the most character arc, but if you marry him, it's depressed. Okay. I can't find this on the wiki anywhere, but I don't know why I would have made this up. I swear that if you marry him, one of his lines he says is, uh, every day is he goes, What are you wearing? What is that? 
Eau oh. de pepperoni. <laughs> and it's, it's like the unsexiest line a human being has ever said. But if you search that, it doesn't come up anywhere. And like, I wouldn't have made that up. Why would I have made that up? <laughs> yes, that's real. Thank you. Okay. But the last time I looked, and it was a while ago, it wasn't on the wiki. And I was like, Shane is gaslighting me. He heard me making fun of his terrible compliment. I married Shane and it's real! <laughs> yeah. Amazing. It looks like Abigail's already plugging away at egg collecting. Oh, our children are here. Oh. Like, I guess I don't know why they wouldn't be. <laughs> we just leave them at the house. That's where they are. Cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy. Go away, we're adversaries until the egg hunt is over. I love her. She like she's just legitimately the best character by like kind of an embarrassing margin, honestly. I'll try my best to win this year. The idea of an egg hunt is a little weird. Oh, uh, Leo is from the island. He was shipwrecked and raised by parrots. So that's actually pretty fucking weird. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the fetus festival, Leo. <laughs> it's okay. They're unfertilized and boiled. <laughs> Hopefully Vincent will be able to find an egg this year. He couldn't find one egg? Vincent. Uh, Penny is nice. She's like the kind of person you go, she's nice, but like that's all that there is. She's so boring. Um, Haley's a ditz and a bitch, but she is blonde. <laughs> Emily is Haley's sister. She's crazy. <laughs> like, hand over mouth, psycho. <laughs> Penny is about as valuable as her namesake. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, Penny's story, like... Penny's life definitely improves the most if you marry her. Um, like, it is it is inarguably very nice of you to marry Penny. I'm not the kind of person who marries out of fucking pity, though. <laughs> Get yourself a partner that eat rock. Yeah, Abigail, uh, so they're like stratified things that people like, love, neutral, dislike, and hate if you give them. And everyone's got unique loves and likes. And Abigail has a lot of likes that are rock-based because she's interested in, like, mining and adventuring. So famously, if you hand her quartz, which is a liked item, she says what she says for most of her liked items, which is, Thanks! I was hungry! This looks great! <laughs> uh, Maru is, like, a genius inventor girl who makes a sentient robot but she's also hardcore boring all the women are so boring except abigail <laughs> i'm not a big fan of eggs to tell you the truth george I'll has like the bomb i sent you depends <laughs> on your farm i do it may be a little boring. <laughs> These festivals are a good chance to check with the neighbors. <laughs> All right, man, let's start the hunt. I thought Stardew Valley was a farming game. It is. I believe I need nine eggs to win. And the baskets are all collectible eggs? Nope. Nope? Oh, okay. That's I don't mostly. think so. Unless... Are they? Oh. I hope they're not. If they are, I'm... That, that would have been my immediate assumption. No, they're hard to see. Okay. There's one... No, shit. I'm doing real bad. I am not going to be able to win. Oh, they're like individual eggs. Yeah, they're a little hard to see. It's 
stop. Now seems like a great time to raid this gravestone. Damn. It is you who will be getting destroyed tonight, Jello. Shit. Wait, hang on. I can still win. How much time do you Get have? Get fucked, wife. It's top left. You have a minute. Oh, well, gotcha. Just barely got nine. Wow. Look at all these eggs. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, you got a prize? <laughs> <laughs> my wife? <laughs> Flair, get fucked, wife, by me. Let's have lesbian sex. <laughs> the most interesting thing about the football guy is that his grandfather is kind of homophobic, and if you're a boy and you date him, you can make him not homophobic. <clears throat> Which is not a ringing endorsement of Football Guy's character when it's like, how's your relationship with Alex? Well, his grandfather's a little <laughs> less homophobic now. Congratulations, you've beaten your wife and a group of kids. I love beating my wife and kids! <laughs> The cranberry jello! I'm, I'm just gonna keep bothering Flair by not picking it up. Oh yeah, how long do I have to do this? Two days? Okay. What do we got? Bugs. Okay, Bugs. damn. I can't do fishing bait anymore. That sucks. Bugs. What is that one? Okay, yeah, that's purple. But I need a bunch of these, so I'm not going to do that. Goku. Abigail is making you sleep on the couch. Go sleep on the island tonight. <laughs> My You're wife. at the beach house for a week. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you think she and the wizard or Abigail's lost gay dads? No, I think her green-haired mom just used to fuck the wizard. And, like, I don't blame her because Pierre sucks. Her husband's awful. She's right to cheat on him. <laughs> he spends every festival trying to make a quick buck. And, like, can you imagine spending time with your you're supposed to spend time with your family i would know <laughs> could you imagine being married to someone who's just obsessed with making money and nothing else it's locked <laughs> i have the key i have the conch <laughs> uh allows access to all buildings in town at any time of day lie Liar! <laughs> Walking into someone's house, let me in! I have the key! Let me in! <laughs> let me in! <laughs> Can't I know you're in there? It's 2 a.m. <laughs> well, you see, Jello, it's it's day. It's it's not day, it's night. This is not a time of day. What do you guys will? Get out of here. <laughs> These flamingos are hideous. <laughs> I gotta get rid of these. Time to have... <laughs> what? Some sort of... There was a strong happen? windstorm what? during the night. Whatever. <laughs> Million I assume... dollars. Your house collapsed. Oops. <laughs> Deputy Gaku Bumumo. <laughs> Our children's names are Gaku Bumumo and Bumumo Gaku. I'm debating what I... I'm not used to having this much freedom. We've been married for six years. You should be used to having this much freedom. If anything, it's too much freedom. If anything, I'm a horrible wife. That'll teach me- CARROTS! Fuck yeah. 
shipped. Eight that. seconds of introspection before you see carrots. <laughs> She's like, I was... need to spend more time with my carrots! That's what I was always going to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need moss! Hops on horse, <laughs> runs away. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Carrot. Squash. Broccoli. Ugly man. <laughs> Ugly thing. <laughs> Wife. <laughs> Alright. I got a letter. Oh, thanks, Shane. This gives me speed, so oops, I didn't see what that said. I'm gonna eat this immediately. Carrot. Can you feed this to my horse? Hey, horse. You want a carrot? The dog is here. I can't go. Do you think Pepper. Shane uses pepperoni flavored deodorant? <laughs> Not scented flavored. Pepperoni deodorant is one of the worst things I can imagine. <laughs> it's Haley's birthday. Oh shit. Um I do need to catch 10 flounder today. I guess I'll do that. Whatever. Haley sucks. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Why do I have a blood pond? Because sometimes it spawns things I like. <laughs> Why does anyone have a blood pond? <laughs> Don't ask stupid questions. Spawns things I like. That's a more concerning answer. You nailed that rock. <laughs> I'm catching the rock. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and convince Demetrius this is a flounder. <laughs> I love that he's like the the local flounder population is out of fucking control. It's it's wild. <laughs> it's an issue. When when is flounder? Can someone in chat look up? when and where Flounder is. I don't want to be fishing in the wrong spot. Oh, hey, Leo. What are you doing? Nothing right now. I've frozen you in time with my iridium fishing rod. It can be caught uh, at the beach, the ocean, during spring and summer. Okay. can also be caught during any season on Ginger Island at the West Ocean. Okay. South, southeast, and in the Pirate Cove. You have these, man. There was some... something... Sonar Bobber. Spinner. Oh, I would like a no bobber, please. And then someone in chat says 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Yes, I would like to increase, increase the bite rate while fishing. Okay. It's fishing time, baby. Now's a great time to ask Jello a question. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Can Jello catch 10 flounder in one day? Probably not, honestly. That's actually pretty unlikely now that I think about it. Now, can Jello catch one flounder in one day? Please. That's the question. Please. <laughs> my, my mouse died. <laughs> my mouse died. Oh no! <laughs> My mouse died! Uh, hang on, wait. And the last hopes of catching a flounder drift away. <laughs> no. Please. Fish. You're all I have left. That's not a fucking flounder. Please, fish. My wife won't take her clothes off for another six years. <laughs> I missed the- oh. Sea <laughs> jelly. Gross. 
Ew. What did I need? There was a crafting recipe that had that that was disgusting. What was it? Fishing? Fish dryer? Was that it? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like a clothes dryer for a fish. <laughs> Alternate jello skin. Oh no. Okay, here, here we go. Nope, that's a bait maker, which I've also never made, actually. Interesting. Okay. Oh, place a fish inside to make targeted bait. Make a mushroom log. Grows mushrooms every so often. That's actually pretty interesting. Fish smoker. Sea jelly, river jelly, cave jelly. Okay. What are my thoughts on that one cranberry? What cranberry? You've never mentioned it before. <laughs> You're throwing a corpse into the ocean to attract mourners. So, Jello. I am Jello. You need the flounders to do a challenge mm -hmm. by today. Mm -hmm. And you need ten flowers to do the challenge. Mm -hmm. But you don't think you're going to be able to get ten flounders. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now? You still need nine more, Jello. Do I? Oh no! <laughs> Will I make another Scooby Doo video? I'm not planning on it. Thoughts on Wyoming? I've heard it smells bad. I will. If I can get two more by noon, then I will go for it. But it, there's a pretty good chance I will get nothing thoughts on bomberman jetters i'll make a video about it i was reading chat what are my thoughts on have i thought of it's really hard to read on my ultimate monitor while playing this mini game all right the ladies it's ladies <laughs> night my wife! Why are you walking alone? Do you want me to come with They're you? They're bullying you. Are they bullying are you? Are they bullying you? I'll kill them. No one. Because you're I, married? I own this town. I can, where'd they go? They went to the back. There's a boat. Oh, I see. Don't talk about my wife that way. <laughs> she looks good. Hey, Abby. All right, see you later. She's still mad at me about the egg festival. <laughs> She's upsetty. I kind of thought you gave up. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna, yeah. There was just a fishing spot. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Can't... is it time? What? No. Where's my wife? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is stacked, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> And she's correct. She goes and sits in the shade immediately. I'm reading a book about a sailor who washes up on a deserted island. I love being boring and just going like, I'm at the beach. I am at the beach. Talking to everyone but your wife at the beach. I'm saving the best for last! <laughs> what up, girl? Why? What are you doing, Emily? You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, Flair, what was that thing you said <laughs> the other day? It's like, need me some pussy from a boring girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pancakes make you better at foraging. Lum need, lumberjack. Need boring pussy from a girl who looks at birds. Is what I said. <laughs> the cranberry! <laughs> it's just exponentially funny <laughs> to not do anything about it. Wee! Hey, Linus. Everyone be looking at the water today. <laughs> Funniest thought of Rania going over to the other beach girls and going, Yo, Abigail's stacked, right? And I'm just going, oh, she's, she's your wife. You can call her stacked to her face. <laughs> I want to sleep. Tell me a story, please. Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to tell a story and do this. Oh, wait, shit. I was here to collect copper. I didn't... I just burned eight copper to make bombs. This is a story about war. <laughs> Warfare is never worth it. Tell a Scooby-Doo story. What do you want? What's the best thing I could say in response to that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I forgot how easy mining is when you have the explosion sword. <laughs> Guys, did you see how stacked my purple wife is? <laughs> stacked and purple. That's the name of my young adult novel. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to write like a romance flick without access to a thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> it's Googie, you hack fake fan. <laughs> Oz, what are you getting mad at? <laughs> I can't really look at chat. It's like my other monitor is a little too far over to the right. And this game's on a timer, so... Oh, I think, uh, I think Flair was like, Goo Goo ain't that Shaggy's girlfriend from the Reluctant Werewolf, and Googie is the, the real name. Okay, perfect. Good night, crew. Good night, Maui. You know, not a, not a Scooby-Doo story, but I am curious in your expert opinion. What, what does a perfect Scooby-Doo episode make? Like what what entails that an episode that's rough um i like all the characters that's you know what that's literally it that's the biggest that's the moon i'm going to shoot for <laughs> if a scooby doo episode has characters and you like them if all five characters do something and i like all of them that's pretty cool. That would be great. Alright, follow up. Is there an episode that does that? I haven't seen one. <laughs> <laughs> My knowledge of Scooby-Doo is a lot less... in the episode department. Um, because I was going to watch all of Scooby-Doo back when Verve existed because it was owned by WB <laughs> and had all the Scoob for a little while. Um, but in the end, I stopped for a little while because I was like, wow, Scooby-Doo. I watched the first series, which actually holds up really good. It's pretty funny. Um, and then I watched, I started watching the second and then they were like, that was like 20 ep something episodes of Scooby-Doo doing some normal Scooby-Doo stuff, the original things. And then it was like, 
Well, you look like a man who'd like to watch Scooby-Doo meet the Three Stooges and Don not 600 times. And I'm like, I do look like that, but you're mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> and those Scooby-Doo movies are like a solid hour apiece and they're just terrible. And like, for the most part, they didn't even get a celebrity half the time. Like, it'll be like, Scooby-Doo meets Batman. And I'm Casey Kasem playing Shaggy. And then it'll zoom over and be like, I'm Batman. And this is my boy Ward, Robin. Hello, gang, it's me, Casey Kasem playing Robin. <laughs> and it's like, hey, man, could you not hire another guy? I like Casey Kasem, but I don't like him this much. I recently, like, I, I went back and I, I tried to watch uh, a pup named Scooby-Doo because I, like, remember <laughs> enjoying Oof. it as a wee lad. And I got through two episodes and I was like, I hate it. I hate this. It's It sucks. <laughs> I, I have not watched any a pup named Scooby-Doo since I was a little kid. But I, oh, I thought he... All right. It's like... Weirdly, it's the sound design that I hate the most. Because yeah. it's all like jazzy acapella for like everything forever. And it really gets on my nerves after the first 10 minutes. So, uh, what's new Scooby Doo? I tried watching. And I watched about four episodes. And I fucking couldn't because, like, you know how in shows like The Big Bang Theory or whatever, they've got like an audience yeah. that's laughing at shit and it's kind yeah. of exhausting. Like, imagine... And you know in, like, Tom and Jerry and, like, old cartoons, there'll be, like, cartoony sound effects, like... Yeah. Wow! Like, wah, wah! And stuff. Mm -hmm. Whoever was in charge of the sound effects for What's New Scooby-Doo had a cartoon sound effect kink, and it's non-fucking-stop. <laughs> it's unwatchable. It's... Yeah. Um, so I've I've watched. You know what? Let me look. Actually, really quick. Unless it doesn't want me to. List of Scooby Doo series. Scooby Doo Media. God, there's so much. There are 13 television shows. Um, I have seen maybe not all the movies. I've seen almost all of them. I've seen all of Scooby Doo. Where are you? I started the new Scoop. Which one is the new Scooby Doo movies? This is when they've got terrible fucking castle. Yep, yeah, oh, this cameos. is the one. With yeah, uh, I started those. I couldn't. I how far did I get though? Uh, I I tried really hard. Uh, yeah, I watched Three Stooges, Batman and Robin. I don't think I watched The Addams Family. I did watch Jonathan Winters, because I was like, who the hell is Jonathan Winters? <laughs> uh, then... Oh, right, and then I... You know why I gave up? Because they meet Don Knotts in episode two as his character from the Andy Griffith show, and then they meet Don Knotts again as Don Knotts, and they're like, who are you? And it's like, it's Don Knotts. You guys, you know him. It was, I don't, it was exhausting. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, it was, um, specifically for a pup named Scooby-Doo, it's, like, the main theme has, like, a bunch of, like, background girls going, like, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, 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 and they don't stop doing that for the entire episode. Anytime anything episode? is happening on, yeah, anytime anything is happening on screen at all, like, like, during the stealth sections where they're like, we the gotta be, like, section. yeah, like, like, you know, it's like, I know what right, you gang, mean, but we gotta like... split up and look for clues, you know, and, and that sort of thing. And they like, they're like sneaking around looking at clues, and they go, like, the background ladies will chime in and they'll be like, Scooby Doo, be Doo, Scooby Doo, be Doo. And then, like, it gets fast paced and they go, Scooby Doo, be Doo, Scooby Doo. And, like, literally 10 minutes of that, and I'm like, shut up, shut up, <laughs> stop. That's really funny. Actually, <laughs> like, this is a stealth mission, Scoob. We gotta get in. Extrajudicially kill the target and get out. <laughs> Remember, Scoob, no witnesses. 
You and I are just as disposable as anyone. <laughs> Raggy, do you think Ruv can bloom even on a battlefield? I don't know what I think anymore, man. <laughs> Raggy, now's no time to rouge your head. We're dropping in enemy territory. <laughs> Like old buddy, old pal. I think this is the end. <laughs> At least what we I killed want... them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like. I I haven't watched a ton of Scooby Doo media, but all, the more media I watch, the more I'm just like Mystery Inc. Was it? Like, that, oh, yeah. that's what was the peak, and it's oh, never yeah. going to it's, get better. <laughs> frankly, Mystery Inc. is a miracle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mystery Inc. is why I consume Scooby-Doo. It was the thing I watched, and I was like, hey, hey, is this good? Hey, guys, this one might be good. <laughs> it was like, frankly, I, I think of that because I'm like always thinking about that scene where like... It's like the final fight, and they're like the Nazi robots, and <laughs> yeah. he, and like Scoob comes in, like trashes a bunch of them with a minigun, and he's like, "They drew first blood, not me." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My favorite scene is is how Hot Dog Water, the best character in any <laughs> Scooby thing, is like, "Don't worry, gang, I'll hold them off for you." And then Hannibal Lecter Parrot uses Nazi robots to gun her down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jell of the Effort, anyone? Look, I didn't say it was a perfect show. There are some bad fucking episodes, okay? I never said it was perfect. But it's pretty good. It's The first, like, twist reveal character is Mr. E. <laughs> That's I, his name. <laughs> I legitimately love the old Mystery Inc. as villains. So, like yeah. all five of them are such. I especially love Brad and Judy. Like, I love, I love the idea of like lovey dovey couple finishing each other's sentences, just being evil. Like, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Um. There was there was some other thing that I needed that was like wasn't the uh, wasn't the fish guy it was the log the the log there it is yeah I need some I need hardwood for this I probably have some hardwood fucking around somewhere yeah here we go yeah man let's just Fuck it, who gives a shit? Put it right there. Actually. You're looking for Morticia and Gomez, but... No, they have, like, a healthy relationship. The the bad guys from Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated are, like... They're love-themed... And they're, like, toxically gross about it. And the, the ambient evil entity in that show that makes things worse and worse over time, like, corrupts them into... Good night, dear. Good night, Abigail. It, like, corrupts them in a way that I find... Oh. Uh-oh. Fuck, I think there was a meteor. Uh-oh. Do you have to go find that? I mean, it'll be on my farm, which means it probably destroyed something. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll go look at the big tree in a second. What horrible devastation has been wrought. I mean, it's only like a two by two, but I'm sure it's like in the middle of somewhere I don't fucking want it, you know? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm not too good at writing letters. Here's a metal bar. <laughs> Do you want it? I thought of you. It didn't I found fit my it. asshole. So I can't <laughs> Why did I uh, say that? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me? <laughs> Clint! 
Isn't that ironic? It's a steel bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where? Yeah, I... What if it hit the gold clock and destroyed it? Oh, it God. it landed close. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of the places it could have landed, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, a prismatic shard. Th like, Jeez. Those are one of the rarest items in the game. I just happen to be the asshole who has the end game give you one every day. I, do. <laughs> I, uh, I specifically remember... I'm sure there's, like, more bad episodes, but I specifically remember one thing that I took umbrage with in Mystery Inc. And that was just like, season two has like the most batshit insane, like weird start. And I kind of hated it. Oh yeah. When I first watched. Cause they, they do like a time skip. I, uh, after, like, I like kinda, like, the sequence up. where Shaggy is like in the military. Is breaking out of the military. Yeah, no, compounds. that's fun. I hate the baby man. Yeah, thing. it's such a waste of Mark Hamill too. Yeah. Like, I remember really enjoying Shaggy's breakout sequence, and then you get back to Crystal Cove, and Fred's, like, a weird homeless guy, um, and it's, he's it's stalking little... Daphne. Yeah, so I don't mind Fred and Daphne being a couple, but, like, I do high-key hate them being like, we're gonna get married right out of high school! I'm like, oh, yeah. no, don't do that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> he's like he's like stalking Daphne and he and he's like like not taking care of himself. He's like watching her go on dates and stuff. He's like, this guy's no good for her. They're, they're, like I, I gotta put a stop to this. And then like there's just this freak baby man going around destroying everything and nobody's doing anything about it. And then it turns out to be Taylor Lautner all along. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, uh, it doesn't warrant more explanation than that. <laughs> where, where, where? I'm a fucking baby! Here's a bomb! I don't know. <laughs> I shit my pants! <laughs> it's really not a good use of Mark Hamill. <laughs> I'm just throwing- I don't know why he sounds like my Gilbert Gottfried impression. <laughs> Which, I can do a better Gilbert Gottfried than that, but I guess- I guess my Mark Hamill is just a bad Gilbert Gottfried. The strawberry. Mark Hamill, famous voice actor of all- all kinds of your favorite roles. No. Like, the Joker Batman, uh, Fire Lord Ozai Avatar, Baby Man <laughs> from <Baby>. Mystery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... It's funny because now Mark Hamill does a voice that like matches his general energy and body type. Yeah. He's been doing that voice for like forty years. Yeah, he did. He oh God, he started doing that voice in like the nineties, when he still pretty much looked like the way he did when he did like Return of the Jedi, which is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Gilbert Gottfried in a Scooby Doo episode. That that might probably have happened. happened. There's yeah. a they did like a more recent celebrity Scooby Doo thing, and it's it's rough, man. It's like who was on it? Let me look. Scooby Doo and Guess Who. That's what it was called. 52, 52 episodes. Oh no. Um. Okay. Oh man, I don't know. They had Mikey from the Goonies? You know, who? Um, okay. Kimberly Brooks. That's funny. Alton Brown. Steve Buscemi. Okay, Steve Buscemi is a get. Uh, Cher. They had Joey Chestnut. <laughs> Jeff Dunham. Okay, that's why I didn't watch this. Oh, boy. All right, Morgan Freeman. Okay. Uh, Jim Gaffigan, don't don't do Ricky Gervais, guys. Don't put Ricky Gervais in your stuff. Whoopi Goldberg, that's like Whoopi Goldberg is who I expect to be in mm -hmm. this sort of thing. You can't 
you can't have Jennifer Hale as your guest star, guys. She's just been in Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh, Lucy Lou. Mackle! Yo, there's a Macklemore episode? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, hold the fucking phone. Now I have to watch this. Went from that's why I didn't watch it to I have to watch it. I. I have seen Macklemore in things so infrequently, but like, I remember I was listening to a radio show he was hosting once as a guest and he was like doing the news segment and like fucking around in like the funniest way where he was like, um, is that a Green Day concert? And a uh, little girl went up to Billy Joe Arm- Oh shit, the desert festival is happening. Fuck. Billy Joe Armstrong, I think, is the Green Day guy. Went up to him and asked him to sign something, and he signed his guitar and gave it to her. That little girl was me, Macklemore. Next song up on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, fucking cracked me up. I'm like, you're all right, Macklemore. I want to see that energy in Scooby Doo. <laughs> Like, I think somebody asked, can we get PewDiePie in Guess Who? And, like, oh. weirdly, I think, like, the time for PewDiePie's rev uh, relevance to appear in media is kind of past. I like, mean, it'd be, we'd be more likely to get, like, a ninja, unfortunately. Oh, ew. <laughs> don't, be, don't be right like that. <laughs> oh, gross. Wow, ninja. You're a real <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> or wait, Jinky, sorry, Jeepers is Daphne, fake yeah. fan. Uh, Jinkies, it's famous gamer Ninja. Oh, I'm a huge fan. I'd love to play a couple rounds with you. Sorry, I don't play with women. <laughs> <laughs> like, did your wife really make you sandwiches like that, even when you don't ask for them? <laughs> like, my wife in Stardew Valley is pretty stacked, too. <laughs> I mean, Matt Pat might have a chance. I'd love to see Matt Pat in that kind of thing. I think he'd be—I think he'd be a cute guest star. Does anyone have any theories about our latest caper? I have a theory. <laughs> Matt Pat. <laughs> he would be kind of perfect. For it would be a funny. It would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Vixen's worked with him, and she says he's nice. So I trust. Matt <laughs> Man, remember the last time we were like together in a call? I think the the thing was like it's a good thing we're not in call with one another all the time because it's like a an echo chamber of bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what you mean. <laughs> So I've been really getting into League lately, and I wanted some pointers! <laughs> I've been trying to focus center lane! What's, like, what's the best, like, saying something off screen? Name of guest star! <laughs> <laughs> like, these... <laughs> oh, they had these crackers by the entrance! But man, they weren't that tasty! Those are the body of Christ, Shaggy! Pope John Paul II! <laughs> <laughs> the only ghost around here is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, man, I was looking for clues and I just found all these empty beer bottles! Oh, those are mine. Sorry about that, everybody. John Mulaney! <laughs> I've never, I've never done this. I've never seen the Desert Festival. I was just wondering if start, if I lived here, my art looked different. Tofiel is milky. What? What are you talking about? Milky with plenty of. I've been blood. something of a sand connoisseur. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
Well, you know, if he's doing that, he's got to have, like, he's, like, barefoot, really, like, getting as deep as he can, <laughs> trying to feel the sand. <laughs> Wiggling the dogs around, trying to get a good feel. <laughs> like, how much for that snack stand? Two avocados for ten bucks. <laughs> that's well, that's not, not very good. <laughs> God! <laughs> I'll go inside this giant cardboard box. What? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, hang on, what's going on? <laughs> uh-huh. If Will would, if if Will were here, he'd support me. But like, like, what are we doing on this ship? Giving the Covenant back their bomb, <laughs> John Master Chief. Oh no, they turned me from a a cartoon lesbian into a real one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who the fuck? Eyes on the race, kid. We can talk later. All right. Shoot you with the butch beam, I guess. Hair is still pretty long. I guess you could be butch with long hair. Yeah, I look like shit, by the way. I hate this. Officer uniform. Ugh. Ew! Why did you... Oh, my God. What have you done to me? Official cat garbage. I've never been this insulted in my whole fucking life. How goddamn dare you, Sandy? We loaded this confetti cannon with police officers' clothing to violently assault people. <laughs> Just because I've been a bad wife doesn't mean I should be a cop. <laughs> Hanging out with this bird. She seems to like me. Hey, bird. Free cactus. It says I need a cactus or I'm gonna burst. Yo, give me a cactus and I'm gonna bust. Am I ready to welcome a new cactus into my life? Oh, what this... It's got a strange look, but it suits you. Why am I being roasted? <laughs> you dress me as you dress me as a police officer. <laughs> this is the kind of cactus for a cop-looking feller like yourself. <laughs> you a real piece of shit. <laughs> Why don't you take this cactus so you can shove it up your ass? <laughs> Imagine the protein. Can you get a personality? <laughs> oh, oh, what? Oh, what the fuck? Ew. All right, what will I have? Rare fruit, extremely sharp cheddar, cave loaf. I'll take a rare fruit shrimp. <laughs> these are, shrimp. <laughs> these are all freak picks. <laughs> what kind of sauce will I have? Punch. Uncomfortably garlic. hot sauce. <laughs> Scoob, I hope you have a good night. It's actually morning. Radio voice, William T. Sauce. <laughs> Damn, um, I ate that rumpled fruit. <laughs> Catch three sandfish? Yeah. I'm sorry, are you gamifying the skull cave? Oh man, okay. I should prob- oh, I've got seven minutes, I'll be fine. <gasps> Scorp- oh, they're, they're racing! I bet on the scorpion. What's up, man? Oh, okay, this is the same shit he always sells. 
A dark piano! Actually, Abigail would love a dark piano. Hello, cart. It's nice to have more, uh, excuses to get... Th this trading cart has randomized items and she can really speed up shit. Mm. Egg. Oh, okay. A mummy mask? Blue bow. <gasps> oh! Oh, this actually looks like Rania's actual outfit! Oh, I need to get that. Oh, but there's... But there's this, too. Shit. How do I get eggs? Hello. Yeah, man. First question. Where are we? Calico Desert. The canonical desert. Pierre's shop is normally closed on Wednesday. How much does a rabbit cost? Oh, fuck. Um... It's definitely not 1200 I think a pig costs 1600 Yep, it's 800 It's 8K. How many garbage cans are there in Pelican Town? Oh, I don't know. Um... Okay, Pierre has one... Or not... Well... Both of the houses have one. Mayor Lewis has one. Sorry, has one. Okay, there's at least... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's at least seven. And there's not eleven. Ooh, fifty! Okay, great, thank you. That was easy. Alright. Like Zoink Scoob! It's fun to do impressions of different Shaggies. Yeah. I... I like... I, I feel like you can tell what era of Scooby-Doo people watched the most, um, according to, like, shaggy. which Shaggy they do. <laughs> yeah. Mine... I, I like doing impressions of... I, I actually don't know how to say his name. I know how to spell it. Scott Eines, Scott Inez, who played oh, Shaggy the, in, the like... Oh, the new one? No, uh, that's Mash Matthew Lillard. Um... Oh. He played he plays Shaggy in Witch's Ghost and a couple of the other movies, which oh. um my <laughs> my favorite line to quote from him is um like the mayor's one busy guy picking things up and then Scooby drops in his arms and dropping things off. <laughs> and he's <laughs> he's got a very distinct way of scoobing and I like it. Is he Zombie Island slash Cyber Chase? He is Cyber Chase. Alien. Zombie Island is Zombie Island is Billy West, actually. Is it? Really? Yeah, he doesn't do a great job. Uh, you'll. It's not something you'd notice as a kid, but if you watch movies back to back, you'll be like, oh, fucking weird. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I think movies Shaggy was the one I was with most. Like, uh, mm -hmm. the fucking, you know. Pi ghost pirate ship treasure one uh oh the aliens God. and yeah. cyber chase and all that <laughs> which was scott eines <laughs> Jell jello you know that's not the line anymore pissing and shitting shitting and farting <laughs> <laughs> what's up man <coughs> i'm dying a challenge okay what are the challenges Pieces of Iridium Ore, that's pretty easy. Oh, it's like 10 Serpents? That's piss easy. Um, okay. Challenge! What's up? Your egg rating determines the likelihood of finding Calico eggs. Calico statues will also invoke various strange and dangerous effects. Okay. Is this the Egg Master? Nope. <laughs> All I can think of is just like, Jinkies! Someone bombed the Capitol building! Why would anyone do this? I think you will find the answer lies in the, in what, in, in the people who find... Fuck, I fucked it up already. I, anyway, I'm, Werner Herzog! <laughs> I'm waiting expectantly. <laughs> I... I had like a whole thing planned out and then I dropped it the fucking last minute. I think you will find the answer lies in the darkness within all who live under oppression. <laughs> it's like, 
Almost Arnold Schwarzenegger. There. It's hard. He's a hard one to do. Hmm. <laughs> like they hit the towers. <laughs> Who could have done this? <laughs> George W. Bush! <laughs> <laughs> hey, a diamond. Nice. I, I can't do a Fred, but like, I, I've, I've been thinking, gang, would, would jet fuel really melt steel beams? <laughs> I don't know, Fred. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> yeah, nobody can do a Fred. I'm sure there's at least someone in chat who doesn't know this, but, um... Oh my god, uh, Frank Welker. I forgot his name for a second, which is, like, sacrilege. Uh plays Fred, and he's also been Scooby for, like, 40 years. Yeah. Maybe not, <coughs> probably not 40, probably closer to 25, but... Yeah. I don't recall who Scooby was originally. It's been long enough that I've just kind of always known him as Frank Welker. You've reached a new level of understanding. Like me when I figure out who hid the towers! Am I right, Scooby? <laughs> 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 Hydrate gang. <laughs> Dinky water. Oh. Dinky wider. That's right, it's me, Dinky wider. <laughs> It's a good thing we found Osama Bin Laden, right, fellas? <laughs> All together, the gang and me, Dinky White. <laughs> the government's gonna cover it up, but don't let them tell you different. Dinky Water saved everybody. <laughs> Like Jesus Christ, Scoob. <laughs> hey now, don't take my name in vain. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Is that the calico statue? No effect. Get Plus egg. one. Fallout New Vegas DLC is getting whack, I tell ya. Eggs! 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 E double G S eggs! Oh crap. I guess this is a good kind of floor to get infested. It's a good time to get a crit. This is a nice festival. This is a really good thing to add in the early game, because it gives you a lot of opportunities to get rare items you can't get until way later. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> Benny Fallout! <laughs> damn, I was just about to do Benny Fallout New Vegas, goddamn it. Oz beat you to it. I, god. And I ain't a fink, see? <laughs> I, like, had to look up what his name was, because I was like, oh, game is rigged from the start guy, what's his name? And then I got super distracted, because there's a comment on a YouTube video I'm looking here that's like, uh, the truth is, the frogs were gay from the start. <laughs> Stupid. That's fine. That was a better, better lead-in anyway, because I was going to do something like, I just can't beat this game! <laughs> Raggy, we have to deliver the platinum chip to Mr. House. <laughs> I know, Scoob. Monsters do more damage. Plus one egg. 
<laughs> and those were his last words to me. To I recounting to the rest of the game. I still see him every night in my dreams. <laughs> But are those dreams any? Are those dreams real, or are they made to keep you, to keep you fed, to keep you subdued, Morpheus? I, honestly, I was gonna. I was like Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, Raggy. I can't do it anymore. Holy celebrities. Who the fuck are these people, Scoop? <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> you know them. It's your friend. <laughs> it's my friend. I know them. <laughs> it's your friend. Markiplier. <laughs> Robert Stack. I that I would love actually. A bunch of teenagers scared off their farm by a ghoul in a suit. Robert Stack. <laughs> Have you ever solved a mystery? Have you ever eaten a triple-decker sandwich in one bite by unhinging your jaw? Do you only wear an ascot? <laughs> Jonathan Frakes! <laughs> we have a mystery, and I'm afraid it's, <laughs> it remains unsolved. Unsolved Mysteries has a fucking kick-ass theme tune. Yeah. This isn't rightly a voice I could do an impression for, but just animation was a mistake. Hayato Miyazaki! Hayato Miyazaki? <laughs> I don't, I honestly don't remember his name 100%. Hayao. I gotcha. <laughs> Hayato Miyazaki! That's not my name. <laughs> That's not his name. That's not his name. They call him Hayato. <laughs> Listen, I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I just know the last name. <laughs> Loud, incorrect buzzer. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> Scully, have you heard of talking dogs? What, you mean like in the cartoons? No, I'm talking about the real thing. Mulder and Scully from the X-Files! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my fellow boomers. Me walking into the bar <laughs> pretending to be normal. <laughs> Scully from Brooklyn Nine Nine. What an unget. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Like, geez, Scoop. All right, we got this. Just absolutely no lead in. There's a there's a small naked man under this rock. Wait a minute, Danny DeVito! <laughs> I'm the trash man! <laughs> Danny DeVito! <laughs> it's my favorite yeah, joke in Archer, is just they find the bad guy in, an ep in like a one-off episode is a guy they know named Captain Lammers, and the lead girl goes, Captain Lammers! Nice read, Velma. <laughs> <laughs> So fucking funny. That's a lot of berries. <laughs> yeah, no, whoever said it was right, Ryan and Shane on Scoop would be good. 
A farmer scared off his property. Is it some sort of hoax? Or is it something a little more supernatural? I'm Ryan Bergara, and this is my friend Shane Midday. This is all bullshit. Dogs can't talk. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a, it's a talking dog. He's talking right there. We heard him talk. He's got a little, he's got a little uh, schmengus in his mouth. You know, like uh, the animatronic shows. What are you talking about? <laughs> Writes itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No offense, Mr. Midday, but how about you check yourself before you wreck yourself? I would contribute more. It's late, but I'm like yeah, stretching I'm, my brain. I, I appreciate you staying up this late. <laughs> it's nice to have a co-host, but I know it's late if you wanted to turn in. Uh, I probably will soon. Luckily, my shift tomorrow got moved to like midday to evening, so I'm like... Whatever, I'll just be here and be tired, it's fine. I thought you were doing the trapped guy. <laughs> what is that? A clue? It appears to be a he finger, and it's heavier than a normal finger. Dan McNeely! Why? What? Who wanted this? <laughs> That's right, baby doll. I missed you. Oh shit! <laughs> like Zoink Scoob. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll put the cactus here. Who gives a shit? Why if do they I put give... it here? It can't cause any problems. I can't believe that they gave me a cop outfit. <laughs> End sentence. Full stop. <laughs> they gave me a cop outfit and a nerd cactus. <laughs> it's quite the insult. <laughs> now I can arrest Pierre? For what? You can't arrest someone for being a stupid bitch. <laughs> last time I checked, anyway. Holy shit! In fact, I should be able to go to Pierre and get a... Oops. Didn't want that oak resin. Oh well. Oh yeah, I should probably actually check that fucking tree. Wow, 500 gold. That's really gonna... ...make the difference. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I know a thing or two about jumping. Charles Martinet! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Frog Fox. Question mark! This reminds me of a puzzle. Professor Herschel Layton! That would be amazing. I would actually pay to see that one. <laughs> Adrian Ellicott. I don't know that name, so that... That Oz, to me, looks like you just key smashed. <laughs> it's my Final Fantasy OC. He's a dragoon. He jumps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll never figure this one out. Every puzzle has an answer. What? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the small man? <laughs> Tiny Layton. <laughs> <laughs> I am just a little creature. I Tiny cannot <laughs> I cannot change this. Luke can talk to... Professor! <laughs> this... This dog is talking! <laughs> I know, Luke. Quite curious. <laughs> Professor! T I know, Tiny Luke. 
I know what? Giant Luke. <laughs> giant Luke. <laughs> Professor, the dog is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Somehow is a sequel to like fucking Scooby Doo and the Witch, <laughs> fucking Warlock movie. I don't even remember what it's called. Oh god! It seems a curse has been has put upon us, so that I'm two inches tall and you are thirty feet tall. I can talk to animals, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this doesn't sound. It's like not Luke. <laughs> it's just some guy. <laughs> like giving him a voice that makes it sound like he's about to burp at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to animals, Professor. <laughs> I'm a fucking guy, Professor. You don't need to worry about me. <laughs> God. <laughs> now, now I say, what is going on here? Benoit Blanc! <laughs> uh, King Sting, baby. Keep it up, King Sting. I believe in you. Shit. King Sting. Yes. That's right. I'm in running interference. Well, gang, if that's about everything, I'm going to go have a snack. Just one more thing. Columbo! <laughs> Lieutenant Columbo! <laughs> Come on, King Sting. Come on, King Sting. Yeah, beep beep. Beep beep. Eggs. You know, something's been bothering me. If this dog is so good at talking, why is it that I'm fucking here right now? Because I can't think of a punchline to this A talking dog. dog. Well, talking what dog. do you know about that? You know who would love this? My nephew. My, he talks all the time. <laughs> my ex-wife had a thing with Tony. Ex-wife? Oh, didn't like him. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Columbo! <laughs> oh, chicken decal. Things have been pretty rough since the season finale. <laughs> I'm doing this to make ends meet. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you wouldn't be able to do this festival the first year. I the found only something. thing this dog needs is more cowbell. <laughs> Christopher Walken! <laughs> Hi Ryan, to tell you the truth, I don't really like festivals. Why are you here? But I'd feel even worse if I stayed at home knowing everyone else was out there having fun. This is Why? my canonical Clint voice. Why do you care? I have a problem. She's really gonna do it! No, Haley! <laughs> <laughs> Haley is glistening in the sunlight. She fucking turned into a statue. <laughs> You've been watching those races. Got a little proposition for you. Pick a racer. What? No, I don't want to cheat. Don't fucking sabotage the animals. Freak. It's, it's real easy. Just a snip of the Achilles heel, the Achilles tendon, and uh, good just, to go. He just takes out a revolver and shoots the scorpion. <laughs> point yeah. point. All right. What are you going to give me this time, girls? Well, let's see what my aura is. Is it cop? God, Ron, you would be so sad. 
Why is it a big cardboard box, by the way? <laughs> no budget. Oops, sorry if that tickles. Your catch! <laughs> Throws a fucking grape at your face. <laughs> Alright, chat. It's like, not Wait. large enough to like, injure, but enough to be like, annoying. <laughs> What do you- what do you think how- Okay, wife. that's- that's not too bad. Got your wife fit on. They kept my this hair so the nice. same this time. I like that this update makes it much easier to find, um... ...wearable items. It was really hard before. How's your little guy doing? It's a cactus. They're racing. What do you got today? Oh, flounder. Where was that before? That uh, bit about shooting the scorpion reminded me of a, um, a YouTuber I had watched pretty recently. Um, gosh, what was his name? Uh, something stupid. It was like something Vader, but he was like genuinely a really funny guy. Uh, but his like uh, his his like cadence for like is he would do like like short form video essays on things that just absolutely do not matter um for example there's a video of his that i really liked where he w he went through all of like the stuart little media uh not to review any of it but to establish for a fact whether or not in universe the animals can talk or not and which ones can and which ones can't because it was like something that like bothered him and there's a point in which he's like going through like I think it's like the towards the end of like the first movie and he's like by the way there's this thing that really like fucking bothers me where they're doing like this race right uh and and it's it's um it's you know it's a remote control boat race and all the kids have like their boats and stuff and Stuart submits a boat that he drives himself without like ro remote control it's a little toy boat that he can drive but he's allowed to do it because there's nothing in the rules against it. Oh, air yeah, the airbud defense. Yeah. yeah, we'll do the airbud defense. Well, if that's the case, then I'll shoot your boat with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really fucking funny punchline to that, that is bit. Isn't <laughs> just like clearly, freedom. really visibly upset by it. <laughs> I forget. Is Stuart Little born? Um, or is he adopted? So that's like a complicated question. See, is the uh -oh. thing because in the books he is born into the family. <laughs> uh -huh. um, uh, so like I, he's adopted in the movie, uh, but in the books he, he he's described to have been born uh, and do other things that little rats do, like wear hats and dress well. <laughs> Can I just say, he is described in the books to have been born is the most fandom wiki -a start of an article I've ever heard. <laughs> Bro, get you a bitch who's been born. <laughs> Oh shit, for free? <laughs> <laughs> so, and, oh my god, the takeaway from that video is excellent. So, like, through watching all the Stuart Little media he can, he, he doesn't come to, like, a conclusive answer as to, like, whether or not the animals can talk or, like, what the rules are. But he goes back and he, like, finds the book. And he's like, oh, this is what everything's based on. Also, in this, like, Stuart Little is born and does other things. Like, has a little cane and wears a hat and dresses well, as rats are known to do. <laughs> and he, like, you know, quotes a clause from the book. Um, and he goes, but this book released in, like, 1941 or something, which means that it's in public domain. So I can decide what is real <laughs> about Stuart Little. <laughs> And he, like, ends the video by doing, like, a, 
like a insert canon Stuart Little media of like, hi, what's up? I'm everybody's favorite cousin of the Little family. How's it going? Hey, did you hear about that freaky, freaky bug in the in the woods that farts like a human? Yeah, it's just a result of good old nuclear testing out in the Bahamas. You know how it is. <laughs> oh boy. Just, like, canonizing or explaining all the things about that media he hated. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Who did this video? Um, Leo Vader, that's right, that's what his name is. Man, I love not being hurt by slime. Me in the Goosebumps universe. He did have, like, one video that went viral and was kind of everywhere, and that's how I discovered him. It was, like, the... Are the wizards in um, Now You See... Or, like, are the magicians in Now You oh, See Me okay. wizards or not? He's that guy. Okay. <clears throat> I do have one bomb. One bomb more. Oh, and he made some new stuff. Awesome. Another bomb, another destiny. Could a downsized Matt Damon defeat Ant-Man? <laughs> I gotta watch that later. That sounds really funny. Working weird fake jobs from rom coms. <laughs> the option on Christmas really funny. especially. Yeah. That sounds like something my mom would like to watch. There we go. I have not been getting very lucky with um drops. Oh, there's another really good one, which is he ranks the movies in which Brendan Fraser emerges from the past, of which there are more than two. <laughs> there's there's three. It's George of the Jungle, uh, Encino Man, and Blast from the Past, which is all starring Brendan Fraser as a guy who was from the past and then came to present day and learns about modern society. Huh. He did a power level tier list of various serial mascots. Oh, I've done that before. Yeah, like like who would win in a fight? Tony the Tiger, Lucky Charms guy. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Lucky Charms guy has access to powers, but is not good at utilizing them. No. Who did he... Who did he give top spot? Let me look at this. Oh, he put... He put Lucky Charms guy as, like, S-rank. Well, then, I guess I'm never gonna watch this guy, because he's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> There's an A-tier. Hold on. I know I was, like... I kind of, like, hard disagreed with his Captain Crunch take, because Captain <laughs> Crunch has, like, fucking... Great he, like, sentence. Fuck... <laughs> well, like, Captain Crunch, like, fucking morphs you into food. That's horrifying. Uh -oh. Right, he put the fucking, um, creature from the, the honeycomb cereal pretty high up. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight that thing either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the, uh, the other S tier was the Rice crispy Elves. Really? Why? Yeah, I don't- let me- let me see. I don't actually know. Ugh, I have not run into, like, a single hole. Me interacting with my always beclothed wife. <laughs> oh. Apparently, at some point in history, there's been a commercial aired where the Rice Krispie tr uh, mascots use guns. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They just have them. That's probably not why they're S-ranked, but... Fuck! Oh, they were superheroes once, I guess, is his reasoning. Okay. Yeah. 
I guess he knows more about Rice Krispie guys than me. He did teach me about Weedabex, which are... I would I would hesitate to call a cereal, although it is called a whole grain cereal, but what they are like... Hello! What Hello. a... If you haven't heard of a Weedabix, it is a McDonald's hash brown sized thing of like wheat cereal. <laughs> it's oh. like hardened in a clump. Is it you served at Guantanamo? <laughs> like, I guess. Um, you eat. You're supposed to eat them like like two at a time. Uh, and the the slogan is the cereal that fills you up. <laughs> Skeletons are after you. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I uh, hate when that happens to me. I I am so annoyed. I had a whole weekend planned, and now skeletons are after me. Fucks me up every time. Because I had nothing going on, apparently. Oh, here <laughs> come the skeletons every fucking week. <laughs> there, there's one of his classic skeleton, green whiskers, flying <laughs> after me. What? Bro, the skeletons are after me. Aren't you paying attention? <laughs> I'm sorry. I like I watched the Weedabix commercial, wherein the mascots apparently are known as the Weedabix skinheads. That's what they're called. That's oh, no. <laughs> not a good pick for a name. And... Nope. But their slogan is, get this, if you know what's good for you, Weedabix. <laughs> that's the slogan. That's what it is. Okay. You, you're trolling <laughs> us right now? No. None of this is a lie. <laughs> Weedabix is real. It's out there. <laughs> is that the skeleton that's after me? Oh, Jesus. Also, hi, chat. I just woke up. That's when I got here. Just oh. now. I see. <laughs> I went and laid down at, like, 6 p.m. like a fool. Alright, made it to level 30. Egg. Th that's the skeleton! He's after me! <laughs> that's him. I killed him. <laughs> I'm fine now. Facing it's 2 a.m. I know. I certainly know. I've got a bone to pick with you, mystery gang. Skeleton who's after us. Eggs! 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 Good night, Oz. Good night, Oz. I thought, I thought it was you going... I'm leaving. <laughs> I was like, I just fucking got here. No, I was very lucky that I woke up at 2 a.m., looked at my phone, and I was like, oh, Jello's streaming. Great. Hey, well, it looks like we're going to be bus buddies. Where are you going? What? Skilling this after you because it's having an affair with my wife. No. Who is your wife? Abigail. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry. Jesus. Abigail. <laughs> she has huge tits. We figured out. Oh, you figured out. We checked. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> this is my... Oh, shit, I might actually pass out. What the hell? <laughs> After hearing the Weedabix tagline, I like was I started searching online for like what are terrible serial taglines, and I found a Reddit thread where people are making that up. Uh, and most of these are bad, but there is one here that's just fifty percent more glass. <laughs> I just kind of laughed at that. What? <laughs> Gotta get some orange items. My wife is here. I got up early to wall of my crops, and they're already done. You've really got this place under control. Yup. They sprinkle every day. Just like, Don't worry about it, girl. Just like you, I'm a great wife. <laughs> when my lovely wife wants to watch Orange, I go collect it. <laughs> my bitch so wife. 
This is pretty <laughs> accurate. It looked like I got giant bad ears. <laughs> <laughs> When my bitch wife wants me to stop collecting moss in the wilderness. <laughs> Bro, you just said you haven't seen your wife naked in six years. I don't need her to be naked to pleasure. <laughs> Get creative. Come on now. Weedabix is great. I crush it up, put brown sugar on it, pour boiled water on it till it forms a porridge and serve it with you, yogurt. You can That's just, not a cereal. You can just, That's <laughs> Technically, oatmeal is also a cereal, actually. So it probably, Oh. But, like, they're they're wet cereal. Like, it's, it's a different thing. That's oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, do I have any ore? I, I wouldn't- I also- I wouldn't want a cereal that takes that much effort to, like, make good. <laughs> You're missing out, probably, maybe. <laughs> eggs! <laughs> it happened. There's eggs everywhere. This is a fucking disaster. What am I gonna tell my wife? You missed our good Scooby-Doo bits, by the way. Oh. They weren't. <laughs> all right, they were okay. <laughs> all right, all right, hang on. We kind of we kind of peeked at Scoob and Shaggy at behind enemy lines. <laughs> That's true. I will agree to that. <laughs> so I was eeping. Sorry. Like Scoob. Be sure to die in a place where they'll find your dog tags. <laughs> you really think they're gonna let our bodies get out of here, Raggy? <laughs> We're paramilitary. <laughs> a man can dream at the end, Scoop. <laughs> the morphine isn't to save you, it's to make it easier. <laughs> Listen, Scoop. Yeah? I didn't have anything. <laughs> I didn't have anything. <laughs> I like the idea of Scoop just like, like angry eyebrows. Yeah? <laughs> Say it, whore! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh, you guys have been having a time in here. <laughs> Raggy. Scoob, here at the end, call me Norville. <laughs> Norville, you. I, I just thought you were gonna be like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't remember your name. <laughs> I just told you, you piece of shit. <laughs> you would deny an old man his pleasures. <laughs> Break the fucking shot, Raggy. <laughs> but like, Velma's in the way. <laughs> you signed the oath. <laughs> Don't worry, the bullet will go through her. <laughs> the only thing that matters is you hitting the target, Raggy. It's redder than the alternative, Raggy. We can't go back. We gave up our chance as soon as we dropped in. We can't go back to Guantanamo, right? <laughs> I, in I used to have dreams, Scoob. We sold our dreams. <laughs> we sold our dreams for blood and oil, Raggy. <laughs> Boy, I wonder if this stream will be demonetized. <laughs> a raccoon. A raccoon. Hungry. Need fish. I don't have any. I don't. I don't see a chance of that. the The first half is front loaded with like Jello screaming, trying to get to his naked wife. <laughs> it only matters if it's in the first like minute. <laughs> There is no pattern to the demonetization. I'll just tell you that. I I named my Hi-Fi Rush stream Wife Took the Zune in the Divorce and they demonetized that immediately. 
Why? <laughs> Can't say divorce, I guess. I don't know. I didn't even call her my bitch wife in the title. <laughs> he wants a smoked flounder. Well, now you shoulda. <laughs> well, I shoulda. I demonetized anyway. You can't say Zune. Ugh. Uh, 1984. I want to play Hi-Fi Rush so bad. That 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 right. game is so much my vibe. It was cool. Right. I played it for seven and a half hours. <laughs> In a row. <laughs> in a row. In a row. The first, ah. the first stream is seven and a half hours long. My girlfriend right. sucked thirty-seven dicks in a row. Men like you and I don't get dreams, Reggie. <laughs> You're a dog, Scoop. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was recognized by the United States military as a <laughs> as an able-bodied man. <laughs> Like only so they could put you on, put you on a military helicopter. <laughs> Raggy, be honest with me. Am I still your service animal? <laughs> the old, the only people you service are the United States government. <laughs> you make me sick, Scooper. <laughs> Man, we've been not dying for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it felt weird to point it out. So just... <laughs> Will you two shut the fuck up? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> just in the back of the van. <laughs> they're just, they're really hot. <laughs> You make me sick, you piece of shit! Better a military dog than a spineless rat! And he starts tackling him. <laughs> spineless <laughs> rat! <laughs> Gee, gang. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Man, you got quite the operation here. This is my end game file. I never got this far in a Stardew. I mean, yeah, this is this is my 100% run, and now I'm just it's not 100% anymore because they added shit. So. Oh shit. <laughs> just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> like dying in a desert in a pool of their own blood and then the Metal Gear Solid whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So I know you're doing a Scooby-Doo bit, but I can't stop thinking about that gay goat movie you showed me in this context. Oh my god, I I knew it was up your alley, and I know it's my fault, but like, still, oh my god. You showed it to me! <laughs> I learned it from watching you! <laughs> gay goat movie, you can explain it if you want. <laughs> Jello showed me this gay goat movie. Don't fucking it's, don't that this. explains it. I understand. Now. <laughs> it's about it's about this little valley where on one side of the valley there's like a, a cute little uh, field of goats, and on the other side of the valley there's like a craggy mountain full of wolves. The wolves are trying to eat the goats, obviously. And one stormy night, this one little gay goat and this one little gay wolf end up in a barn together and they can't see each other because it's so dark, but they talk to each other and they're like, wow, we have a lot in common. We should hang out again. So they come back to the barn the next day and they realize that they are a goat and a wolf and they're like, oh, that's kind of fucked up. Um, but like, let's hang out anyway. Let's go have lunch together. 
And they hang out and they're just like chill guys, except the wolf is like, I could really eat this goat. And the goat's like, oh no, I hope he doesn't eat me. <laughs> the that goats, would be so bad. The goat's fucking, vibe fucking is in stars. <laughs> it's, it's like gay B stars, and it's all dubbed by one dude who just dubbed <laughs> it on his own dime and he plays every man except one extra. And. Uh, oh no, I think I, this is we met one stormy night and like the wolf guy sounds like this and the little goat guy sounds like this and uh, yeah, it's the same were you dude. nibbling on my ear? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> and there's like a scene near the end where they're like, we'll just go together over the mountain to the other side. We might not make it. It seems pretty dangerous. I'll go anywhere as long as it's with you. And like, it's it's so gay. It's so overtly <laughs> so gay. gay. And, and it's they're... like the goats don't want the goat to hang out with the wolf, obviously, because they're like, you're gonna get eaten. And also he's gonna find out our secrets. And Flair, oh no, I hope he doesn't eat me. I'm just a vulnerable little goat. You That's know his vibe. It's, it's his vibe. It's the whole and, movie. And then there's like this really dramatic scene where they're like, dying in the mountains and I'm like hey Vixen I don't remember the end of this movie they might straight up die and just like oh, I'm so sorry oh, I couldn't find any grass for you to eat Gabu be honest you want to eat me right now don't you no I'd never do that it's all right I'd rather it be you <laughs> just <laughs> go out of the cave and pretend we've never met and come back and eat me so at least one of us will survive and he just extends his neck for it to be bitten <laughs> and stands there. stands there with his eyes closed and his neck extended and he's like come back in and pretend you don't know me and I'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> you have to imagine Incredible. I'm at Jello's house <laughs> Jello's working on his computer, and I'm sitting on his couch, leaned forward, eyes wide, like, what the fuck is going to happen in this movie? <laughs> I, I want you to know, Vixen, when you were first going through and, like, explaining the scenario, and, like, you suddenly shifted from there were goats and wolves to there's a barn and a storm and a gay little goat and a gay <laughs> little wolf. I was fully expecting you to be like... Oh, we should talk to each other and, I don't know, kiss and have sex and stuff. The, the gay... The gay is, like... It is subtext, but it's like... Yeah. It's, it's like lava. <laughs> it is almost text. Like... God, there's a there's a great fucking scene where the, like when they first meet each other and they're like, we're gonna go to the lunch. Let's go up on this hill. Um, the wolf accidentally drops his lunch over the side um, to to sort of obfuscate to the, the fact that, like, he was going to eat goat, probably. He had, like, goat meat with him. Um, so he drops it, and the goat's like, oh, no, you lost your lunch. That's so unfortunate. Do you want any of my clovers? And he's like, nah, I don't eat that crap. I'll just, you know. Is that I'll a mouse in a out. shoe? Huh. It's like, I'll just tough it out. And they get to the top, but the whole time they're walking, the wolf is looking at the goat's ass and it's like slow-mo goat wiggle from side to side in like a dream filter. And I'm like, what's happening? There's like uninterrupted goat ass for like three <laughs> seconds. Do you, Bro. do you know what the name of the movie is? I need to see images. I, I one met stormy one night. Stor we met one stormy night. Also, hey Marnie, why would you say this to me? I was just thinking about milk. And that's hey, all I have to say. Hey Gabu, I was just thinking about milk. <laughs> <laughs> just a normal thing. It's called One Stormy Night and the dub is incredible. It's when Jello showed it to me, he thought it was a fan dub, but we looked a little bit more into it, and it is, but it also isn't. He had permission from the original, like, anime creators to dub it. So technically, it's the official dub, and it's it's good for what it is. Like, considering the fact he plays every fucking character, it's not terrible. <laughs> And I don't know why he got, like, another guy involved just to play a random extra instead of one of the two main characters. <laughs> because both the main characters are him, and the main villain is him, and the side villains are him. 
but there's this random goat that doesn't matter that's played by a different man and then there's one girl playing <laughs> the only girl goat but the grandma goat is also the main guy and you couldn't tell it was a dude i couldn't i could not tell the grandma was a guy it it's it's an all right dub i'm I'm amazed I've, by this. Man. I've seen worse dubs come out of contemporary Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles. Yes. I, he, he did well, and the recording quality is okay. I, I'm seeing like some 2D, which seems to be the. It's movie, the 2D and, one. There's a TV yeah. show based. It looks on the like same a books. show. Yeah. Don't watch the 3D bullshit. So apparently, in, it's based on some children's books, um, and in the books, the the sheep, the goat, is not given a gender and they were just like this is gay now <laughs> they made him a guy. he's a guy but in the in the 3d show it's a girl and i'm like what's the point if it's a girl goat <laughs> get out of here i mean i point. would still like it but like yeah you would not me also like <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna think Jello knowers are gonna think I mean one thing by this. I actually mean something else. The goat is so cute. And I don't mean I wanna fuck him, which is usually my goat coated thing. I mean he's like a little marshmallow. He is, yeah. They they draw the goats like half the size of a normal goat. And the main goat, May, has big anime eyes where the rest of them look normal, except the girl, I guess. And he's got like this pink little nose and they, they just draw him so compact and small. And I'm like, what's, what's with this goat? I'm just a normal little guy who just wants to get eaten a little bit. <laughs> he I does, never... He sounds exactly like that. It's all right, Gabu. Like he's, he's way too, like he's baiting Gabu to eat him. Yes, the for, whole movie. For sure. It's... It's he, definitely he's, happening. <laughs> he's like, well, we're by ourselves, so if you ate me, nobody would ever know. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, God was just like, I'd never. But if, you know, you could. <laughs> and, and no one would ever find out, I mean. It would be like the perfect crime if you're hungry. <laughs> Your impression of him is so good. <laughs> It's an easy voice to do. He just sounds like this. <laughs> but it's also something about, like, the way he talks that you're also doing really well. Obviously, I'm the... That? What if... What if I told you that I was Tustin James Taylor, or whatever his name, <laughs> the guy who dubbed Tustin. it? I was... If you turned around and you were Tustin, I would be so betrayed. I'd be like, you didn't even sit through your gay little dub and didn't tell me it was you the whole time. <laughs> oh no, I tripped and seductively fell into this pool of barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh gosh, it's everywhere. Would you mind licking it off of me? Um, okay, only if you want me to. <laughs> I also do a really good gob impression. Yeah, you do. I guess if you could do one, you could do the other. Yeah, I mean, the same guy. <laughs> it's also really, really decently animated. Like, it there's looks a couple... fucking good. It's funny as hell. There's a couple shots where, like, the 3D to 2D compositing is not great. Like, the 2D characters will be on top of, a like, a rock on a river, and the river is just, like... 3D shit water and it looks really disgusting. <laughs> it, looked, it does look like shit water. <laughs> but the 2D animated characters are great looking and when they're drawn the forest 2D it looks amazing. And I'm like, damn, this is a really nice looking movie. And then one of the characters will be like, anyway, I hope you don't eat me. And I'm like, what's what's going on? I Gamers, hope you don't the eat plot? me. I hear that the you legs are the it's just so terrible. And his little goat <laughs> friends are like, what if you get eaten by a wolf? And he's like, mm, that's the idea. Like, he does not <laughs> give a shit the entire movie. They get him in, like, a circle, all the goats, and they're like, this wolf might eat you. And he's like, 
Oh well. <laughs> like, he does not give a shit. <laughs> he, they're legitimately the first time they hang out. It's like, oh my goodness, I guess you're a wolf. I never would have seen this coming. Anyway, let's go off to this secluded place for our picnic. Oh, you're not scared? Not at all. Come on, let's go. Wiggle my ass in front of you seductively. <laughs> what a lovely spot we've picked out. I think I'll just fall asleep here. Make it easy for you. Make what easy? <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's so funny because like, Gabu picks up on none of the vibes none of at it. all. It like really sounds like Gabu is the innocent and he, he absolutely this other fucking is. guy is the predator. <laughs> Vixen and Jello's first exposure to basic furry media. Now, hang on. I know what's going on here. I was just not expecting it in this random anime movie dubbed by one man. You understand? I wonder why he dubbed it. <laughs> what do you think he was interested in? <laughs> but that is what we were talking about the entire time. We were like, what do you think it is about this movie that made this man want to dub it? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, Tustin. <laughs> was that his first name? He has the it most made Tustin. up. It is Tustin. It's just the most made up, not real ass name. Yeah, it was not his real name. We looked him up. Uh, the only thing we could find was like his, like his defunct anim Annie List account, and him being like, "Yeah, the movie's not on YouTube anymore, but like, you, I re-uploaded it, and uh, you know, enjoy it for as long as it lasts, I guess." And like the story of how he got the rights, but like him and everybody else who was in it all went by pseudonyms for their privacy is what it says. And I'm just like, I want to know who you are so badly. <laughs> is he still voice acting? I need to know. I hope this guy is a professional voice actor. I hope he works in the industry right now, unbeknownst to me. I hope his name is actually Tustin, and that's not the part he made up. Yeah, it's just the rest of the name is fake. Anyway, uh, Oz isn't here, but Oz does occasionally mention this movie, because I used to mention it to, to him. as Is this your fucking gay little goat movie? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a gay little goat movie. He's right. And I was like, we don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but I'm just going to put this on for a minute. And you can look at the gay little goat movie, and then I did nothing to turn it off, so it went on. <laughs> Neither did I. I was like, I need to know what the fuck is happening in this movie. Because not only is it a weird gay niche anime thing, which is like all the way up your alley, it's also a really weird inexplicable dub thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, I would have hired that man the next day if he had put his real name on that movie. He was incredible. And that, like, he literally... It's like, I just had a dream that one of my friends was nibbling on my ears. She likes to do that to tease me. Were you nibbling on my ear? Why would you do that? No, I wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> and they... He's not even like, uh-oh, I'm in danger. This wolf is nibbling on my ear. It's like, well, I guess I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. It's so funny. If you come back, we can hang out again because we're friends. Yeah, this went well? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Gabu doesn't know what the fuck's happening the entire there are, movie. There are no less than two gratuitous goat ass sequences <laughs> yeah <laughs> but then after that it's like it's like a forbidden love romeo and juliet kind of thing where they run away together and they end up up in the mountains in a snowstorm as their families hunt them down fucking eat me yeah, Just, and, i'm, <laughs> I'm still on the like, like you're gonna have to. One of us has to live. Yeah. I'm still on like the. It's okay. Just go out and go outside the cave and come back and pretend you don't know me. <laughs> like, that's pretend just, like, we a... don't know each other was the raw <laughs> shit in the entire thing. I was mouth agape looking over at Jello like, what the fuck and is I, going I, cause on? Because I kept going. You know, I don't remember if they live or not. And with every and like. 
Please look this movie up and watch the opening scene where May's mom gets torn to pieces by a pack of wolves and in her death throes rips off the ear of one of the wolves attacking her. That sure is how it starts. And it's got this like dark atmospheric lighting and it's really well animated and it looks insane and like that the movie is mostly like look at us we're just a cute little kids movie but then at the beginning and the end it's like you have to kill me go <laughs> <laughs> you have to kill me shaggy only one of us is getting out of here i think i found the dub on the internet archive it's just on it's YouTube. on youtube you yeah. don't have to hunt for it it's i just found it yeah, it's just there. Also, he couldn't get the rights to the original ending song. So this this man like wrote and and sung his own song that sounds really good it at the fucks. end of the movie. It's a good song. I'm just like this this guy is a triple threat. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how he did this. It's so funny. <laughs> Who is this man and why is he doing everything? I don't know, but mad respect. I love it. <laughs> so now our icons are fucking May and Gabu. <laughs> That's why I'm the gay little goat. You're a gay little goat. <laughs> the little fucking guy. This little gay little fucking guy. This dude is so multi-talented, he's definitely a furry. You got a point? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're, you're right. right, you're right. Shit. <laughs> I guess that answers our question about if he's into it. Like, he's... He's a thousand percent into the gay little goat and wolf story. So am I. That's why I'm here. But, like, the uh, the question is the vor baiting, <laughs> really. Yeah, that is the question. And I can't make that assumption just based on the fact that he dubbed the gay little goat movie. But what's the... Didn't he have, like, one other thing on his my anime list and it was, like, another goat and wolf <laughs> movie or something? It was... Yes, it was. Oh, God, what was it? How did I find this movie in the first place? Legit, I don't remember. <laughs> it was it was over a decade ago. Um, I yeah. Arashi no Yoruni. I think someone I knew on Voice Acting Alliance knew someone that was in it, which is like a super now defunct website for old voice acting forum shit. I think someone I knew knew some like knew the extra guy who voiced the one goat. Uh, and they were like, my friend's in a thing. And back then, if any of us did anything, that was big news. Here comes a fairy. Um, it was also during a period where I was watching fan dubs of anime movies, like the Animal Crossing movie had one. It appeared Right. Like it was Ringing Bell. We found his Annie list, and he also liked <laughs> Ringing Bell. And I was like, oh, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Damn, I think that's just his fetish. I'm gonna be honest, if my kink was Vor, I think you guys would know. I think that one might be one I would just be like, yup. <laughs> Cause I think it would be funny. I think it would be fun to make a bit out of it. Um, ringing bells about a sheep? Damn, you fucking got me. I, we have like in in my other friend group. There's like one friend who's like fetish. Is, I didn't mean you, Jill. I meant the is, guy. <laughs> There's like a one friend who's who's like thing is that they're in divorce, and we just rib him about it endlessly. I mean, that's what you do. <laughs> like... Again, what is the point of being close enough friends with someone that you know their fetishes if not to make fun of them endlessly about it? <laughs> Like, and, like, to the point where, like, I think it was Soup, my buddy Soup, did, like, a, like, a, here, I, I don't know what Vor likers are into, but I wrote, like, a Vor fan fiction about these two characters, huh? and, like, showed it to him, <laughs> like, as a bit, and, like, showed it to him, and he as just, a like, bit. Hard, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, well, he, like, hard critiqued, like, every point of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then, and then, like, in anger, he went back and he was like, fine, they're in a room, and one violently rips the other one apart and eats him the end. <laughs> you know, as a bit. <laughs> as a funny bit, I just thought I'd, I'd show you, my only friend who I know is in Devore, this unrelated Vore fanfiction I wrote, as a funny haha. And then I got so mad when you critiqued it that I was upset enough to write another draft of it. <laughs> That's funny, just the story as I was told it. Funny vor prank. <laughs> a bit more like a bite. <laughs> John isn't subtle enough to hide a vor fetish, thanks. <laughs> They fucking got you. <laughs> Throws rocks at you. What? <laughs> All right. I need some blue things. Unfortunately, while this bow is more accurate to the design, this fucking this pink one is just cute. So I am gonna do this. Are you nibbling on my ear? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I... I didn't. I guess I'll go back to sleep then. <laughs> I love that you haven't seen it, but my impressions were accurate enough that you are now doing a pretty accurate impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, shit. Is that Flack Ops in chat? Hello. Hello! Flack Ops does a... I, I was about to say cute. I think it's gonna get real violent and real upsetting. But Flack Ops has a, a webcomic about small animals that are... Um, this is... I, I think I need to... This is not in any way small animals in the same way as Gay Little Goat Movie. Okay, They're good. Like, it's good. You guys should go fucking look at it. Hang on, actually, they did a really good Molly fan art once. Let me let me awkwardly transition it so it's on screen for a second because I think I just have it sitting on my desktop because I haven't organized it. <laughs> name drop it. Uh, the name is not fully decided according to the tags. I think it's murder animals. No, a lot no. of small animals in your history, Jello. Read it. It's got big Neo Trio energy. It's because Bo reblogged it, and I was like, "Oh, look at this! Look." Uh, okay, hang on. Desktop. Yeah, I, I have it. Bleeding Heart. Okay. <laughs> oh, Bleeding Heart's a good name. Bleating a as in name. a sheep bleating. Yeah, A okay. plus name. Here, they did this art of Molly. Oh, so, so cute. Oh, it's this art. Oh, I love this art style. Yeah. That's you, man. Good job. Yeah, your stuff is great. I I love Bleeding Heart, and I, I look at the other stuff of those characters you have drawn, and I feel fear <laughs> every time I see an update. <laughs> It is almost 3 a.m. This this has been fun, but I should go to bed. Yeah, good night. <laughs> yeah, good night. You guys have a good night. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah, the um in our in our Discord server there's just a channel called Character Callouts where we throw characters images of characters in there and at our friends to be like, look, you idiot, I bet this is a thing you'll like, and we're always right. And uh, Clover, I think, is her name. There's like a little skunk girl who has like Feeny energy. Very, very skunk from Bambi, like flower. She's just like, yes, flower. love sparkle, sparkle. And I'm like, you, this is, this is it. I love this. She's yeah, a speaking baby. Of, speaking of character callouts, what the mm. hell did you tag me in today? <laughs> I don't know. It was like a stinky looking guy with red hair. Oh, he's disgusting looking. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <Think> of me. 
<laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on, I want to show this guy now, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what from? No! <laughs> just, oh, it's, no. Fucking, it's Gambit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a horrible picture of Gambit. Is this? This ugly? I don't know. Looks like Giovanni Potage if you dripped him in the stink. <laughs> so I, thought, <laughs> I thought maybe you would be bad. No. I don't know. Ew. Was it wrong, Vixen? It was wrong. <laughs> I feel violated and misunderstood. <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> Calling myself out here, but kind of gendered, though. I'm so sorry if that's your gender. <laughs> Man, that's <is> really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you I ginger to... he boy. I don't know what more you want. I Let... guess I played myself there. <laughs> you played yourself the minute you dropped that criteria. <laughs> Jail has red hair. No. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. No, I don't accept it. I mean, you just. I'm just giving you hard counter evidence. No, you're wrong. <laughs> My type is specific and inscrutable. If you try to appeal to me, it, it almost never works. What about. Gabu met one stormy night. Everyone's no, I don't like Gabu met one stormy <laughs> night. <laughs> but he's your icon. <laughs> oh, shit, I guess you got me there. You want to fuck the gay little goat, Jello? Don't ask questions that you don't want an answer to. <laughs> May May is too baby coated. He's too small. Like it's yeah. concerning. But like every other element, I'm not gonna lie. Like the Vor thing, I, the, the, he's very weird. But like I like a weird character. I like a character who's a freak. He's weird as long as he never forces me to eat him. <laughs> Number one problem in relationships. <laughs> the time my bitch goat wife is upset that I'm not eating him. My wife him. He does have <laughs> he does have married to a movement energy actually. <laughs> yeah he does. Skiska <laughs> seems happy. Skiska seems happy. The slimes of love. May seems happy. <laughs> Marriage Matrimony to a wolf. <laughs> the slimes of love. I love referencing in text, Skitska seems happy, because I am critically unable to spell that character's name. You always spell it wrong. <laughs> Not only do I spell it wrong, I spell it like, like a phonetic typing out of somebody spitting as hard as they can for several <laughs> seconds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Skeetska seems happy. He did. We've we've referenced it multiple times, and there's always a comment being like, "Boy marries a Moomin reference." It's like, yes. We're we're hitting all of the classic weird anime relationship about a marshmallow <laughs> tonight. Who are you? <laughs> what? It's one oh. of my favorite jokes from that is when he keeps zooming in on the, <laughs> the snake. Thing. Who are you? Who are you? Hard cut. And also, there are girls at this school. Uh oh, this isn't the way forward. Scooby seems happy. No, I don't. <laughs> Raggy, you have to eat me. <laughs> One of us has to make it out of here. That's what I was thinking the whole time you were doing this shaggy oh my God. Scooby bit. <laughs> I was like, it's just like we met one stormy night. 
It's just like that, guys. It's just like that. They're the same. <laughs> Damn, pretzels is the same. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm glad I got out of bed. <laughs> my my job really has become getting you to say that. <laughs> yeah. Wake up in the morning, lay there for two hours reading fanfiction, send Jello a text being like, give me a reason to get out of bed. Some people in an... Uh, server I'm in that Flair is also in were like, oh, we want to do this thing that will, like, require a little bit of money, and they were like, they were like oh, we could do this commission, and Flair was like, I could draw a bunch of in stars and time spicy artwork for Vixen and get money from that. I'm like, Vixen <laughs> would want that. Yeah, that would get it. I already paid for the first one. <laughs> Oh, I won't be able to buy Joja Cola because I destroyed them. Uh-oh, what am I going to do for blue? Yeah, Flair, Flair drew me a sexy loop. It was very good. Fixin's been playing the AstroTurf, the ISAT porn community. And I'm doing all of this while Adrian's at GDC. I really hope she doesn't come back and be like, Stop it. You're a freak. I don't think that will be her reaction. <laughs> Considering. I like Loop's gender, but find them wholly unattractive. I'm so sorry for you. Loops a fucking weirdo. Loops my fucking weirdo. I'm, I'm obsessed with Loop now. <laughs> Flair did draw some really good human Loop. Yes. Human Loop I can get behind. The pinup was of regular Loop. <laughs> Honestly, shocked you didn't show it to me. Oh, I'll show it to you now. I wasn't, I was about to clarify, that wasn't necessarily me asking. <laughs> I'm just shocked is all. The pinup, I'm talking to, I'm talking to Vixen, Flair. Though the two of you do usually send me the same thing about 24 hours from each other. Here you go. All right. <laughs> just switch tabs to Discord and Gambit came up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's tasteful. It's tasteful. Flair, did you show Jello the big naturals yet? <laughs> yes. Share with the class? I'm not gonna do that. You guys should go to Flair's Twitter at Clotted Scream on on the Twitter and look at it there and maybe retweet it so that it spreads a bit. Oh That's what you should do. I don't even disapprove of any of your loop thirst. It's just so overt. Like <laughs> I hope you become have you ever seen a guy in a community that just becomes the guy who commissions porn of one character? Like, whether it's their <laughs> OC or otherwise, it's just like, oh, that guy is at it again. At it again? Like, there are guys who I, I will, like, see commissioned art from an artist I've never seen. And I'll see the character and go, I know who commissioned this. <laughs> That's what... But that's what I mean when I say that my type is inscrutable. Like, you can't turn around to me and be like, here's a man that fits all your specifications. Because I'm like, I'm currently thirsting over this gay star NB, actually. 
Is Vixen going to be blue skin? <laughs> <laughs> Only if it gets my favorite game more downloads. I'll kiss as much blue skin as needed if that is the requirement. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm ready to do it. <laughs> yeah, Flair, add me on Discord. Do you guys not have each other on Discord yet? No, I don't think so. Oh, I just assumed. But uh, I think if we're both in the ISAT cord, you can just add me from there. I'm not in any mutual servers. You're not an ISAT cord? Little out of the loop here, what does ISAT mean? Funny phrasing. ISAT is, there's actually, I should, I should clarify, there's a pretty good amount of people who are not regulars here today, so for some reason this stream must have been recommended to normies. Oops. Um, <laughs> ISAT is a indie game called In Stars in Time. We did a full reading of it uh, on this channel, and it's amazing. It's like the best game I've played in like 15 years. So yes. we've all made it our mission to be really obnoxious about it and get more people to play it. It's a time loop game. It's just written really excellently. Like the dialogue is fucking phenomenal, the whole game. There's only like six named characters and they're all incredible. Yes. 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 You should play it, chat. Better it's than so good. better than the Fire Emblem Ike games. It's, I mean, yeah, it's a better game. My favorite game will probably always be Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, but this is a better game. At the end of the playthrough, I was like, I think that's better than Undertale, and everyone was like, Yeah, I think it was. It's definitely got Undertale vibes. If you so, if you like Undertale, you should fucking play it. <laughs> One of these paychecks I'll be able to start it. It's only twenty dollar. It's only fifteen dollar during it's the spring sale. It's only fifteen dollars. Go buy it right now. It's like thirty hours of content for fifteen bucks. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, Adrian's really undercharging for that game. Really undercharging for it. She's like, well, I'm counting the prologue as part of it, and that costs like ten or fifteen dollars. So technically, it's like a thirty dollar game. It's like Adrian, no one's gonna play the prologue. No one's playing the prologue. Your main game deserves so much more money. Fuck. Okay, hang on. I would not say thirty hours. That's what it takes people if they get all the extra content. I think 30 hours is fair. There's a lot of shit in there. If you went looking for all of the dialogue, it would take you like 30 hours. It would take you more than that for all of the dialogue. Yeah, it was like 30 to 40 was like the upper end. And then, I don't know, how fast did we get through it? 20 something hours. Yeah, like 20 hours skipping a lot and of I, time. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I did some stuff off stream actually too. Uh, and we literally had the dev there, and I was like, please tell me where to go next. We're on stream. I'm just here to show off the main story and nothing else. And Stars in Time is so fucking good. Play it or I'll kill you. <laughs> so now I hang out in the Discord for it every fucking day. <laughs> There's a choice at the start that changes dialogue at the end. Well, yeah, but there's also, like, there's so much optional dialogue. There's so many secret quests, too. It's it's the kind of game where, um... Oh, you can't buy it here anymore. Shit. <clears throat> it's the kind of game where... It's so thought out. It's like, the first trap you encounter you look at a column to solve it. So I was just brain dead checking every column in the game, even ones I'd already checked. And after you check a certain number of columns, the game goes, what the fuck do you think you're going to find? Okay, and it gives you a magical ability to randomly get items by checking columns <laughs> to reward so you funny. for your diligence.
played through the game thinking I'd found everything, but missed like three optional quests. Yeah, it's it's insane how much is in that game for 20 bucks. Oh, I don't want to sit here and do this a hundred times. Is there any other way to do this? Blue items, please. I would rather... Uh, Sorry. Oh, it's just someone said, on a scale of one to five, how would you rate it? I'd give it a five. It's my new favorite game. Five for sure. Easy. Amazing fucking game. And it's great for me, because unlike Jello, I did not know what my favorite game was. I kept flip-flopping between a small handful of them. So now I get to just be like, it's in Stars in Time, and I can be confident. <laughs> Blair, what is this? Jello is Vixen streaming. I don't think so. No. I just hopped on here. It's 2 a.m. L wee wee. Is it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to make the joke I was going to make. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Is it Ice Hat because of your favorite boy? You got to voice Vixen. Seafrin was a big part of why I was like, oh, I'm obsessed with this game now. <laughs> it's a huge tech part, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, fuck. I got to I got to do acting. It was the most fulfilling acting I had done in a long time because the script is actually good. And I was like, damn, dude, I never get to do this kind of shit. This is awesome. And then by the end of it, I was in fucking tears. In, in tears in time. Nah, <laughs> fucking... yeah, I knew it. Was literally gonna say, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So glad you did your in stars and time streams when you did, because I had enough time to grab the Sif plushie. And I didn't. I'm so sad. Escalation. It's okay. We're friends. We're best friends, you fuck. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. How many days I got left? Probably like four, right? Three. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're having a falling out. We're having a falling out right now. That's not good. I... I kind of fucked myself on the blue guys. I think I am going to have to sit there and get a hundred sodas from the vending machine. Fuck. Shit. I can't get over how painful the final events were. Yeah, they're rough. It's, oh. <laughs> so good. Also, yeah, Vixen's favorite game she's never played. Yeah, I bought it just so I could put it on my Steam profile as my favorite game, and it says zero hours, zero achievements. I mean, if you watch someone play a game like that, I think you pretty much played it. Yeah. Like, the combat in Stars in Time is not bad, but it's not what you're there for. <laughs> no. You are there for the story. It is It is very much a story-driven game. All right, here we go. Time, to, now would be a good time to insert ads. Yeah, you think the peak of my stream is gonna be me buying a hundred sodas? <laughs> here we go. Yeah, buy a Joji. Yeah, buy a Jo. Yeah, buy a Joji. What if I did that for all 99 of these <laughs> I needed to buy? I'd have to leave. Would you kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Would you stay, chat? You molding starter. <laughs> yeah, also, I have some of my best acting moments as Loop as well. Oh, yeah. And I can't show most of them off because they're all from the back half of the game, which is spoilers. 
And I'm like, mister, I don't care if I spoil you on something if I judge it to be unworthy of your time. <laughs> Except I do judge in Stars and Time to be worthy of your time. Yeah, so you don't want to spoil it for anybody. That's like, Lovey made this amazing animatic of like literally the last scene in the game. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is a great animatic. I can't show this to anybody to sell them on in Stars and Time because it spoils everything. <laughs> Yeah, don't look up the soundtrack either. Yeah, the soundtrack will spoil you too. Don't do it. But the soundtrack fucking slaps. So if you play the game, if you just trust us and play the game, you'll be able to see this amazing animatic afterwards. You can download the soundtrack, which fucking slaps. You're just going to have a great time. I swear to God. Yeah. Sixty. Will playing in Stars and Time spoil in Stars and Time? Fuck. <laughs> You're right. But how can I trust someone who doesn't want to fuck Gambit? <laughs> I'm going to be staying up for like the next 17 <laughs> hours. I'll watch y'all's playthrough. No, I'll buy it. Buy Watch it. the first episode of our playthrough, and if you like it, go buy the game and play the game. And then you can come back to our playthrough. You stole fizzy lifting drinks! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you're broke, then fine, but put it on your Christmas list. Don't use our playthrough as a as a complete substitution. You're gonna want to play the game at some point. We skip a bunch of shit. Man, everything gotta be Christmas list with you. <laughs> that, it's <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> How can I trust this deer? Unless they like some cool guy like Matt from Death Note, then I don't think I can. Good news. What year is this? Two, six. <laughs> he just calls the horse and leaves it there. I right clicked and I didn't get on the horse and I was reading chat. So I just <laughs> left it behind. Matt from Death Note? <laughs> Bruh, what do you mean, bruh? I was 15, okay? <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Now, as an adult, I only like respectable characters, like the gay little goat from... <laughs> Don't put that in my mouth. What are you talking about? Oh, I wish you'd put me in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> It's the gay little NB star from In Stars in Time. That's my current fascination, okay? <laughs> Only respectable characters like Leon Pokemon. Yeah, you gonna tell me I'm wrong? What if I kill you? <laughs> what if I fucking kill you? <laughs> Time I only like respectable you. characters, like perverts. Here's the thing, I said I liked perverts, and everyone reacted like I had dropped a nuclear bomb. I, uh, apparently that word has too negative of a connotation. I mean like horn dog characters that are like cute about it. You, uh, the archetype you're describing is not the archetype people think. They think, when you say pervert, they think Mineta from Death Note and Master Roshi. Mineta from Death Note. I'm wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you mean flirty, yeah, but like in a disgusting way. You mean pervert. It's yeah, just, I do mean pervert, but just, they were like mad at me for it. It's weird. It's a little weird, Vixen. <laughs> what the fuck? It's weird. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I want you to be nice to me. <laughs> So Denki Kaminari, no, he's a child. Sanji, now you're getting a little bit closer. Oh, no. Oh, ew. Not actually Sanji, but that's the archetype I'm talking about. Oh. We 
can't Sorry. be friends. <laughs> what the fuck? Ew, no, Sanji is so bad. Sanji does fucking suck ass, that's true. But listen, live action Sanji's hot. Live action Sanji is just hot. He's not even a pervert, he's just a gentleman. Yeah. Ring a bell bravely default. You know what? <laughs> Maybe. Vixen, did you ever like Lance Voltron? Yeah. Oh my god. Fucking called all the way out. <laughs> yeah, I did. Get their ass. Get them. <laughs> Lance Voltron? Yes. In, in Vixen's, I'm not going to defend that because like, <laughs> I'm not going to defend that in that there is a Voltron character you like, but I will say, Lance is actually the best character from Voltron to like. Yes. He like legit by the end of the show, he's the best character. I'm not wrong. About that. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to tell you this, Jello, but pre time skip Sanji was a gentleman. No, he isn't. He's gross. No, he sucks, but I, I want a man who sucks. He definitely gets worse post time skip, but he has some he has some shit he does in pre time skip that I'm like garbage. At least he isn't fucking transphobic <laughs> in the first act. Hmm. What are your thoughts on Clance? You get your dark words out of here. <laughs> I wrote a Clance fan fiction. Oh my god. <laughs> Part of the problem over here. <laughs> you know? I like when boys hate each other. <laughs> Yosuke or Teddy Persona 4? Ew. <laughs> no! No, I liked Kanji when I played Persona 4. Kanji is the only valid character to like in Persona 4. Maybe Naoto. Maybe. So I'm saying you cannot predict my taste. It will be different. Sometimes depending. it's good. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's embarrassing. I can't control the weather. I just report it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are we doing here? We are hanging out and having a nice time, Jello. <laughs> But they hate each other. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I want them to hate each other. I want you to be friend, Davis. <laughs> that wasn't even any of the words in the right order, and I knew what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerleader, shouldn't you be out uh, reading <laughs> cheers? <laughs> <laughs> not a dachi or nanako what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> in persona 3 it was akihiko like you cannot you can't, there's no clear line trajectory. It's just whichever one appeals to me and it will always be different. And Junpei for the first half of the game.
There goes Vixen's guy. And my There's guy. There's my boy. Hey, they're hanging out together. Good. They are friends. They, they are, are friends. friends. <laughs> Where the fuck are these fish? I'm looking for a little schmangler with a crown on it. Not Shinjiro, though. Shinjiro is a respectable pick. I don't dislike Shinjiro. Who's I like Takahiko more, but Shinjiro, that's my second guy. Who's the least respectable party member in every Persona game? Uh, what well, if it's for like? romance, it's Ken in Persona 3. If you romance Ken, go to jail. Is that a child? Yes. As far as, like, character who's just bad... I don't know. Hey, Vixen, you managed to talk to the mail lady yet? <laughs> no, I haven't been back to the post office since that day. <laughs> P3 original dub Fuka, don't you fucking dare. I love original dub Fuka. <laughs> It's such a weird choice. It's great. I don't want them to sound like generic anime girls. I want her to sound strange. I also love original Chie voice. Don't at me. Sure would love to catch an anglerfish. Why don't you send Jello a letter, Vixen? Yeah, I'm just gonna start writing you like a like we're in the Middle Ages, so I can go talk to the male lady. I won't get it. <laughs> and also, you don't have to go up to the counter to send a letter. There is a letter drop. She's gonna look at me like I'm stupid. I would do that. <laughs> What if they committed to making Yosuke an internalized homophobic gay? That's not the perk you seem to think it is. If I was gonna write you and Yosuke fanfiction, I would have done it already. Them putting the romance route in the game would have made no difference. I'll kill everyone involved forever. <laughs> That's all there is to it, chat. <laughs> I have not played P5, no. I have no idea who the characters you named are, and I've played P5 three times. Oh, I assume those are ship names. I, I can't dissect. I got angry that P5 was so popular that I just never played it, even though I own a copy. I own a launch copy. <laughs> Thoughts on Mishima? He's a better character than any of the Phantom Thieves are, but he's still terrible. He would have been a better party member than fucking Ryuji. That's real hater shit, yeah. I am I am the OG hater. Is On <laughs> No, On is not a Jello girl. She is blonde. She has one really good cute read when she um when she leaves. There we go. I was looking for Mrs. Angler. <laughs> when you leave hangouts with her, she goes, "Bye." And it's very cute. Player catchy player X Ryuji. Ugh. The fact that they... P5 is stupid in that they're like, this, here's your main character. He's best friends with Ryuji and Akechi. It's like impossible. There's no Ven in that diagram. <laughs> Those are two binary stars. They don't touch. <laughs> Haru? I'd, I'd rail Haru. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> 
You just you, you you went you went straight for the point on that one. What do you expect from me? <laughs> hey, I like Ryuji. Why? <laughs> Jello, that's not an adult. Yeah, she is. She's eighteen. Lawyered. I'd prefer she be twenty eight, but you know. It's an anime game. It's an anime game, so 18's pretty good. Oh, she is? Okay, then same. <laughs> All right. <laughs> don't, don't come for me when... <laughs> you standing in my house telling me that my house is built wrong? She's also 19 in all of the spinoffs. That's a little better. I mean, like... I'm 29, so at this point, like, 23 is kind of my cutoff point for real shit, but, like, Haru... Haru manages to be actually pretty good. It's just that she's only good in the snippets you get of her outside of the main storyline because they just didn't have her do anything in the main storyline because they were like, now it seems like a great time for the Morgana and Ryuji arc. And it's like, oh, you should go to jail for writing this. <laughs> Useless. Oh shit. I'm having a bad time catching this Schmingler. Yeah, unfortunately, any anime game or anime is gonna be like, look at these teenagers. And it's like, I can't, I don't wanna see them. Um, in real life, I wouldn't date anyone under 25. Yeah. Like, that's my cutoff point. I'm too old for this shit. What are my thoughts on Sojiro, then? I'd respect that. He's one of the better characters. Uh, anyone who picks Futaba is a freak. Surrogate little sister... She's like 15. And if you, I was about to say date Sojiro. If you talk to your surrogate dad, he's like, hey, I'm really glad you're part of the family. Can you, can you not date Futaba, by the way? Like, I don't know if that's crossed your mind at all, but like, can you not? And like, at that moment, you must go, I can't date Futaba. <laughs> Cause her dad is like, that would be weird, and he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Maid teacher or goth doctor? Neither. Neither at all. The teacher is actually an okay character, but her... I... Um... <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Let me show something really quick. Oh, boy. I don't know anything about Persona 5. I don't think there's a single Persona 5 boy for you. Oh, that's so sad. The closest I'll never one play is Persona the main 5. character, so... Give me a second. Just to show my mental illness to chat for a second. So I sure did play this game multiple times for work and have written essays on all of the characters and their usability. Oh, uh, Embattle... Uh, how easy it is to unlock their social link, etc. Yeah. This, this, this column is just if they're actually interested in the player character and it makes sense. Charm or writing? I hate, I hate him. Anyway. I don't, I don't ever get to show it those to anybody, but I love it. <laughs> Oh, Dokapon isn't a change of pace. You're just insane about every game. I legitimately... It's a shock I haven't done one of those for Stardew Valley's NPCs yet, frankly. I do one of those for every Fire Emblem game. I have one for Dark Deity. Do you have separate spreadsheets of your friends' rankings and then my more in-depth ones? Listen, I invite people to write essays, and then they don't. 
I don't understand it. <laughs> you should put the links to those on Patreon. That's not a bad idea, but I'll think about it. You have to make a read-only version. Am I gonna play Dark Deity 2? I'm probably in Dark Deity 2, so yeah. Oh, come on, give me that schmingler. Yeah, I don't write essays, I write fan fiction. Ugh, I'm, I'm not schmingling very well. That's okay. Oh, because I don't have my fucking bobber equipped. How can I schmingle without a bobber? <laughs> my favorite 1950s song. <laughs> How can I schmingle without a barber? Acting like I'm unemployed or a jobber. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get me a girl who can cook a peach cobbler. <laughs> Aloha. I don't write essays, I write fanfics. It's my favorite <laughs> the disco song. I chime in with a what if the two leading boys kissed. <laughs> <laughs> Vixen doesn't write essays. She somehow joins the cast and changes things. That's true. <laughs> that is what I do. I show up in the booth for Borderlands 3 and I'm like, what if my girl was a lesbian? And they're like, God, shut up. And now Jello is making fun of me <laughs> and questioning my rationality. <laughs> I chime in. Have you considered Lance Pokemon? <laughs> His hair is red and I'm pretty sure he's got a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Results inconclusive. Oh, well imagine, as I'm watching a Digimon season again, and I can't help but to see, can't help but to see a boy punching a Digimon. <laughs> what a beautiful pro tag. Yes, what a beautiful pro tag. Be a shame if I rode him as a whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There are tears coming out of my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sad that that happened so late in the stream when my voice is fried and I can't sing as well. <laughs> it was it was beautiful. <laughs> Panic at the disco was created for this moment. Somewhere, whatever that guy's name is. Brendan Yuri? Brendan Yuri? What is his fucking name? Um, he just dissolves into goo and is like, it is finished. It is finished. Ooh. <laughs> his singing gave me shiver. <laughs> More like Brendan Yowie, eh? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Boys and passionate Yowie. <laughs>
what is my sleep schedule? Usually 4 a.m. to noon. I, I am actually pretty tired. I would already be in bed if Vixen didn't show up. And ain't that just the fucking way? <laughs> Sorry. Insert disc five voice. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me? I made the greatest game of all time and I know where all the flags are. I promise. I promise. Do you promise? <laughs> I fucking love. Oh, I got a loop right here? Okay. And then, wait, no. <laughs> I fucked up. I'm sorry. Hilarious. Do you promise, Stardust? Do you promise, Stardust? I feel like Jello would either hate every Guilty Gear character design or would fuck with them hard. I think Guilty Gear Strive, which is the only one I've really seen, has pretty good character designs. Hey, man. How's the fishing life going? It'd be better if you could sell me some fishing juice. Oh, it's Saturday. He doesn't sell shit today. All right, I'm eating the jelly. Vixen, did you have an emo phase? What do you mean, phase? <laughs> it's my whole life, brother. I guess you probably haven't seen, like, a casual picture of the way Vixen dresses when they go out. <laughs> You're more goth than emo, but, like... Yeah. But there was a time when emo was popular that I had, like... I didn't have the fringe bangs, but I had something pretty close to that. Where did the name Boo Moomo come from? Literally Stardew Valley. It's it's the name of my child. The game randomized it. Did you not see the Hail Santa tattoo? Pastel or dark goth? Vixen's a dark goth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wear, like, a glasses chain and fishnets and big chunky boots. And my tops are usually some variety of mesh or stripey. You get the idea. What? <laughs> We've only seen Vixen in professional casting photos, not the clown wool I'm sure she wears day to day. What the fuck? What the fuck? Purple, why are you coming for me this stream? What did I ever do to you? Vixen actually has a really impressive fashion sense. Thank you. When Come I try, I go over to your house in pajamas. <laughs> and I also need to buy more clothes. Uh, so many of my good clothes are now too big on me. And so now I wear basically just tank tops and jeans every fucking day. I gotta go buy more goth bullshit. Yeah, I like the new Guilty Gear character. She actually got posted in the aforementioned character callouts, and I was like, this one. I also really like the other crazy blonde pink one who showed up and is like a death metal screecher, but she dresses like fucking Pinkie Pie. I don't remember her name. Bridget's also cute, and I feel like there's one I'm forgetting. There we go. Son of Crimson Fish. Two more. Elfat, that's her name. I like insane girls in media. And I like it when they're, like, fun. You know, fun. I've never heard of it. Junko, no, wrong. Elfet loves love and loves to love love. I like, I like cuckoo birds. I like weird girls. Is he like whimsical? No. 
No, I like, like, Bloody Mary from Wolf Among Us. I like girls who are insane, but in a way that's fun to watch. Oh, okay. Yeah? Oh, I get it now. What? I don't know. Oh, this guy is sh schmingling all over the fucking place. Uh-oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oop, oop, oop. Uh. He's foosing you. Yeah, this super fish are annoying. Got it. Hey, man. I can't even catch the schmongler shaking my head. Am I gonna try out Unicorn Overlord? No. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't have a better reason, I just don't want to. Sometimes it'd be like that. Can't kiss boys, then count me out too. Shocker. I know who I am. Listen, I'm over 30. I can't be worrying about shit anymore. I gotta just be myself. I'm still under 30, so I'm allowed to be sad. <laughs> yeah, you're a baby. Baby boy. Over 30. We are on either side of 30, yeah. Sorry about it. That's our album. <laughs> opening on up, either side of 30. Up, opening up with my really good cover of I Write Sins, Not Tragedy. <laughs> in which I do all of the song and Vixen is just audibly laughing in the background and gasping <laughs> for air. <laughs> Christ, I thought Vixen was like 26 or something. Nope, you're too late for that train. When Jell made ain't... the Cucumber Quest videos, I was 11. Go back to baby jail flare. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been weird. in my mid-20s in a long time. Since my mid-20s. What? I haven't been in my mid-20s since my mid-20s. Keep up, Jello. Schmangler. Vixen, what sageful 30s advice can you share? Stretch. Take naps. Yeah, stretch. Holy shit, do. Take naps. And don't be like the boomers and take a nap in your armchair because you're going to pretend that you're watching TV. Go to bed. Enjoy your bed. Would not be on my top hundred things to call out boomers for. That's what they do, though. Don't get older than 30, that's true. That's so true. Vixen advice, have you ever heard of protein powder shakes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got some advice. Uh, look to the past as we head for the future. <laughs> you need faith in yourself and trust in each other. You, you gotta live by the lessons you've learned. That's so true. And as we work towards one solution, ergo a spirit evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Jello sounds like a fucking politician. What politicians are you listening to? Yo, if they got up on that podium and they said that shit, they'd have my vote. <laughs> This country will be forever united as one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's my guy. Together, the battles are won. He's so Digimon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Through us, let your spirit evolve. <laughs> it's all for one world. And one world 
for us all. Honestly? Ceasefire now. <laughs> yeah, ceasefire now. If if that was the lead up and the payoff, that's my guy. Where the fuck now that's a middle-aged man I can get behind. I wish politicians were middle-aged. Holy shit. Then I wouldn't be worried about them fucking eating it in the middle of their term. <laughs> What's the, what's this last guy I'm looking for? Is he in a different spot? Radioactive. Oh, I need the radioactive car. Hang on. I forgot that there's two of the. Oh. There's a door. <laughs> Mountain Lake. Vixen, someone could mention a digital monster around you and you'd be frothing at the mouth. Here's the thing. All right. When I was a kid. Nobody else was into Digimon. Running into a casual Digimon enjoyer was rare and hard. Now that we're on the internet, yeah, it's funny to point at me and laugh. But back in the day, I had legitimate reason to be like, oh, you like Digimon too? A new friend. Fuck off. Back when Vixen was 29. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy? Should be here. Should have hit him at least once by now. Digimon forever united as one. I'm, I'm really off key. Digimon. <laughs> Back when Vixen was young before computers were invented. What the fuck do you mean? People are being weirdly... Listen, it's okay to be mean to Vixen, but you can't be wrong. I was not born before computers. <laughs> It's not okay to be mean to Vixen. It don't be mean to Vixen. What the fuck? Since fiction a picture of a dinosaur. Do you know him? <laughs> oh, this one's schmangling a little. Maybe if I'm lucky, this is like jelly. Or uh, I mean, it'd be better if it was the Legend Two sequel. Vixen was there when Digimon was invented. That might be true. Ninety-seven. Yep, I was alive in ninety-seven. That's true. Me too. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you weren't alive in the year I was born. That's true. You're older than me. Yeah. There were a couple years there where it was just me. And then it all went wrong. And that what the fuck? <laughs> and then God said, let there be Brenton. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't meet until we were adults, because if we met as children, I think we would have killed each other. I mean, you would have been like, do you like Digimon? And actually, I really liked Digimon when I was little. It was my favorite show for a while. Um, oh, we might have been friends. <laughs> never mind. It was all perfect. <laughs> I think the conclusion that we drew is that we would just be too much of fucking menaces. Because we were both shitty children. I was a boring child. Always boring holes into the earth. <laughs> digging. Always digging. Nice one star carp. Oh my god, did you destined to be? <laughs> Bro, I wish. If I was a fucking digi destined, I wouldn't have to think about my career. That could be my career. That's the plot of Digimon Try, except the opposite. Ugh. Except they all make the wrong choice. You know who made the right choice? Marcus. They were like, what are you going to do with the rest of your life, Marcus? And he's like, I'm going to go live in the digital world and punch Digimon. And then he did. What are you talking about? They have careers. Yeah, they all made the wrong choice. Shows Vixen a picture of Jesus, this year, man. Mm. 
No, the real Jesus was an Arab king. I don't know what this photo is. Get this out of here. Arab king. <laughs> the autism will repel each other like magnets. I'm not autistic. I might be. We don't know. Yeah. Great. Oh, I get it, because she's a reindeer. Yeah. Jello is neurotypical. I didn't say that. <laughs> there are other kinds of neurodivergence aside from autism. Yeah, I have I have ADHD, which is pretty much just autism's little sister. <laughs> They're like the same fucking thing. <laughs> Aw, my little sister. I do. I have really bad nighttime anxiety. What was I dreaming about tonight that made me scared? Made me go out. Scared. Ah. Uh, I couldn't. We had to make a big collage in my freshman year math class, and I couldn't spell a thing that needed to go on the collage, and the teacher was on my ass about it, and I kept trying to spell it. It wouldn't let me happen. Really annoying. Jello also sleeps at 4 a.m. I do have... I don't remember what it's called. Time displacement. There's it's there's a name for it. I'm one of them guys... I'm one of them fellas who <laughs> sleeps at wrong time, but, like, that's what my body wants to do. Like... Time blindness? No. No, it's like delayed circadian rhythm or something. Like, you definitely don't have time blindness. What does that mean? Time time blindness is like... It's like someone who can't stick to a schedule or like can't like... You know, it's, I, I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it's like it's not their fault when they show up late to stuff. It just kind of happens. There's just other shit going on. You are the kind of person where you're like, let's meet at 6, and then you're like, actually, let's meet at exactly 6.15. I have to do 15 minutes worth of shit, and you do. And then I'm 10 minutes late anyway. Well, irrelevant to my point, but yes. Yeah. My problem is I I always make estimations based on the energy levels I had like on average a year ago because that's like what my body estimates time at and how fast I go when I'm working on something and trying to finish stuff and I just get wronger and wronger as time goes on. Hmm. Whereas I'm the kind of person where I'm like, all right, I have to be there at noon, um, which means I have to be doing my makeup by 11, which means I have to be taking a shower by 10.30, uh, which means I have to be feeding the cats by 10, which means I have to have my breakfast at 9, which means I have to wake up at 8.30. Like, I also do that, especially if I have something important, like a flight, but I'm just, I'm just, I just estimate wrong, I guess. I always give myself at least an hour, if not, like, a half an hour to an hour for every task. I cannot give myself ten minutes to do something. It is... It's never gonna work. Of course. Oh! I can give my horse this bow! That's fucking right. Take it off. Yeah! Yeah! She's a dragon rider. Does it's been literally almost a year. But let me see. I'm gonna look at my old DMs with Bo. See how far she got in the Rania drawing. Oh, Flair Flair explains time blindness better. Uh physically cannot judge time passing the way neurotypical people can. I cannot feel the difference between five minutes and an hour. That would drive me crazy. 
Yeah, that's so why I was like, you're not time blind. That's that's not what it is. Looking looking for a picture. Some Barman Jetters art bow drew. Man, I miss having a reason to put on makeup. Now I'm just naturally hot and don't need it. Get on my level. Jesus. I wear pretty heavy makeup. Not because I'm like, oh, I, I'm, I must, my mask. But it's just like, it's just how I was raised. I'm just like, yeah, I gotta have like my eyeshadow and my eyeliner and my foundation and what are you laughing about? People on here will tweet anything. Charlie Brown had hoes. No, he didn't. That isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking for a sketch. This doesn't matter, but I don't even think I saved it. Oh, God. Took people 27 years to tell me I snore. Damn. Yeah. I sleep talk. I scream. Oh, Jesus. I I have pretty much the worst brain for sleeping you could have. I take three separate pills to hopefully get seven hours of sleep, and I need ten a night. This guy sucks at sleeping. I do. Get him. I'm it's it's hereditary. My dad and my sister can't sleep either. Mm. I got I got all the shit that my dad has that's wrong with him. So I was like, "Hey, Amy, do you ever want kids cuz I want a vasectomy <laughs> cuz I don't want to deal with this." Nubba. Nubba. Pruffy. Como. Mumbo. Sniff. <laughs> Sniff. Kecko. Grayu, Chasco, Fover, Tromley, Tromley, Gumby, Gumby, from Gumby, from Gumby, and that's Lassell, where I've seen you from. Desairs, Gernard, Rarto, Tonabel. I like that. Yeah, I'm I'm good at sleeping, but I'm bad at other things. I got I got bad brain for other reasons, but it's not sleep. Lash is a weird name to name an animal. Who's that? That's Lash. How do you look after him? Lashes. Whoa, that chicken. He's freaking out. <laughs> Eat large egg. Sorry, strong bad. I, I can't get behind largest bean. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of egg. It's too many egg. Fedora? No, I don't need it. Too yeah. many egg, Cromley. Just get rid of all this shit. Give me, give me more egg. Ratchley. I love Ratchley. Wretchly. That's the name of the little... That's like a little guy that hangs out with Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Wretchly! Get over here! Come in, your shit lipsness! <laughs> Come in, you old fuck! Shout out to this guy who's just been going off about Guilty Gear lore for like an hour. <laughs> How's the update so far, Jello? It's okay. It's mostly just quality of life stuff. I'm, I'm here to correct what's bit wrong, which is that I don't have a 100% in Stardew Valley anymore. Get out of my way. <laughs> I hate him. Vixen, did you just join? No, I've been here about two hours. 
I woke up, it was 2 a.m., and I went, oh boy, 2 a.m., Jello's streaming. Well, this time I go to bed in the game, and I'm probably gonna do one more day. Oh, it's 4 a.m., yeah, it's no good. Yeah, it is. It is. There's a dog here. Go to sleep next to my purple wife. Give her kisses my whole purple life. <laughs> I ask who she kins, she says Cloud Strife. You don't mind if you do I do some redecorating, do you? Why you don't like my flamingos? <laughs> Tell me to my face, wife. Why do you have so many flamingos you're, like you're a serial killer? I don't think those two things correlate. Which is what, but what a if serial they did? killer would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, there's mushrooms on that log. I'll leave it. I'll let somebody else get mushroom. Anything annoying to redo? Not yet. Um, there's some events that are... Not events, how do I say this? There's some achievements that are event-based that you have to wait for. I mean, technically I could just go to sleep over and over again, but... What would my wife think? Wow, 3,000 gold. That's really gonna tip the scales. <laughs> I'm doing it for the ticket. Give me that shit. Give me that snake. There we go. Hey, stinky. Carrot. I don't want these. I'm just going through. What the fuck is that? Orange sapling? I don't want that. I have so much money, it's literally not even worth fucking going over to sell these things. Damn. Okay. Good morning. Goodbye. What was I doing? I feel like I had one more thing. Was it just the eggs? Is that all I am? <laughs> I am all of me? Is <laughs> it? my destiny step inside I can't I can't recall those lyrics well enough they are they are too incomprehensible bro just dropped the prismatic shard in the trash my heart I have this I have the 100% completion statue that gives me one every single day Vixen, can I DM you the himbo from that comic I was talking about? You may, but I will judge him. What you don't know, Jello, is that those flamingos are the corpses of your purple wife's victims. This is a creepy pasta from 2010. Your game is haunted. <laughs> I've said she can do what she wants, and I mean it. I never went back to the purple palace after that day. Oh my god. My purple wife was there. And she was a teddy bear before, but now she speaks. Buy unicorn tails, she says. <laughs> Buy unicorn tails. I don't understand. What is unicorn tails? Buy unicorn tails, she says louder. <laughs> How much is one cranberry? My bitch wife doesn't want to live in our flat together anymore. I must go back to the purple palace. Oh, kind of and the lot. king is angry. <laughs> Fnaffle. Fnaffle. Purple guy. That's my wife. Thanks. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> it was funny, Jello. I laughed. Little cranberries. I wish I could just harvest that. Oh, no! Uh, it'll grow back. This isn't how people harvest cranberry. Vomits water <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you gotta flood the fields. And I you gotta the get spiders. the spiders on you. <laughs> you need the spiders. Where are my spiders? Yo, where are my spiders at? Give me some spider eyes in chat. That's four <laughs> eye emojis <laughs> right in a row. Risk a homestuck moment? What the fuck? That's... Nope. 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 Four eye... Got... Gang. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Man, gang. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest line in all of Homestuck is John saying, "What are you like, spider themed or something?" Yeah, <laughs> spiders are gross. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> My favorite Homestuck line is, that's about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. What the hell is that? Has that fence always been like that? What am I, th what am I thinking? <laughs> Someone asked what epithet is, can you explain? Well, the person who asked that drew the official Zora art for the, um, countdown video, so I think they're joking. But ads... Alright. How much? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Epithet race has been a big topic in the few years ago. What? <laughs> the fucking does Bruno Mars's gay article? Oh, I don't have any of it memorized except that. And the rumor come out. The rumor come out. But the rumor come out. That <laughs> <laughs> Epithet Erased has many accoutrements. That's so true. Fuck. What do you mean I have to wait, you blue bitch? I don't want to end up like you, Dad. I did all the cooking recipes. I need... I need more... I need more galaxy souls. I need two more to free my soul. Oh, Lovey's here. Hi, Lovey. Hi, Lovey. Lovey, I'm still obsessed with your animatic. It's so good. Lovey, we were defending you in a server. Velvet, I hope Velvet doesn't get mad. Nier was like, what should I... I was thinking of doing like a fake epithet thing for April Fools. Is that a good idea? And I was like, no, Lovey got bullied for that really badly because people are dicks. And everyone was like, how dare anyone be mean to Lovey for any reason? And I was like, yeah. Why? Why what? Were they mean? Why were they mean? I don't know. Stupid TikTok teens. Why did Jello sound like a character in an experimental animated student short film? Ow. <laughs> Am I here to relax or do work? Have you met me? Do you understand what my life is like, Caroline? <laughs> it's TikTok commenters. They don't have a filter. Can't steal. Ooh, Caroline, keep my name out of your thin mouth. 
What did Caroline do, Helen? She stole my broccoli casserole recipe eight years ago and said it was hers. She claimed it was hers. <laughs> Oh, I know you're not talking about my bee friend, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> she a Christian lady. She's a rotten recipe stealing bitch. Doris. Ooh, careful who your friends are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the super. My R5, or my R6. R6 what? The fuck's a mire? A mire? It's like a swamp. <laughs> Language <Shut> joke. <laughs> I wish you were dead. No! <laughs> no, you fucking don't. No, that's true. I don't. Fun start effect. Caroline is a broccoli gas for recipe stealing bitch. <laughs> I know you not talking about my bee friend Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> keep your name out keep my name out of your thin mouth. <laughs> it's such a Something really savage about that. Yeah, it's a very specific burn. And, like, it's not even necessarily, like, a bad thing. It's like, oh, her mouth is so thin. Like, no one says that. Oh, you deposit these now, huh? These are gross. Ooh, cave three jelly. cave jelly. Oh, it gives luck. A rare jelly. Oh. She a Christian lady. She's a rotten recipe stealing bitch. Doris. Ooh. Careful who your friends are. Maybe I can catch a river jelly. River jelly. Yeah, today I tried to bait Lovey by recording 11 seconds of Japanese in Stars and Time script. Oh my god. It was it was fun. Lovey, did you get baited? Lovey did show up immediately after I posted it, so it kind of worked. Why do I have a blood pond? Blood needs a place to be. <laughs> Because blood is always outside. This is what I'm saying about me not being good at sleeping. She a Christian lady. No, that's skin, Vixen. Oh, you're right. Give me some river jelly. I want to make a fish smoker. That's a normal fish. I don't want that shit. Get it out of here. I always lurk in that server. You can't bait me into anything, I say, with ideas for a fake ISAT anime screen cap. <laughs> Love you, we gotta post just that 11 seconds and be like, wow, the ISAT anime real? <laughs> Adrian comes back and is like, what have you done? What have you been doing? <laughs> Would the anime be in black and white? Yeah. It would be cool and artsy. How much of a cryptid Jello is? I don't think I'm a cryptid. I don't think You're that... not. You're not a cryptid. I don't think that describes me. You're not corpse. I'm like an old goat. Yeah? Yeah, if I were younger, I'd sound like, please fucking eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Full color ISAT manga. It's regular black and white manga. It's a good manga, sir. Aloha, and I've been quoting. It's a, good, it's a good blank, sir, nonstop. 
You're very human, but in a sad way, Jello. Nice. <laughs> wow. Opinion on the Tumblr narrators? I don't know what that is. It's a good gorilla grip pussy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't have any more prices right vids. You're right to like them, though. I love those fucking videos. There's only one. I love that fucking video. Yeah, it was actually really, really hard to edit, and I don't want to ever do that again. It's the video that made me be like, I want to be friends with these people. Wow, I'm glad I made it. It all worked out. <laughs> it's a boring pussy, sir. I go to the <laughs> pussy. It's wet. <laughs> there we go. I was rewarded. <laughs> Before I played I said I was like, wow, all the fans are really faithful to this black and white stylization, huh? And then I played the game and I was like, oh no, it's just like that. What? Could you imagine if all the fan art was in black and white, but the it's game was the game is gonna be in black and white. <laughs> The game was in full color, but every fan artist was just like, no. <laughs> I hate color. <laughs> oh, yeah, I fucking threw the hardwood away. Like a little bitch. Well, it's 8 p.m. Time for an espresso. I don't like the drinking noise. Oh, does this himbo have a mustache? Hmm. I don't know about this one, Flair. Drayden hater. I don't like facial hair. Well, I, I do like facial hair if it's just like a scruff em on the chin or cheeks, but I'm not a mustache fan. Wow. Or a full beard fan. Wow. I need facial hair, otherwise I look like a seven-foot-tall baby. Oh, he's cute in the flashback where he's just a little scruffy. Sifrin looks all white, but it's actually a piss-yellow dress. <laughs> There's a lot of great fan art of um, what colors, you know, their outfits might actually be. I feel like I see Sifrin mostly in blue or red. I I like the interpretation that Sifrin is just all white. Yeah. Because, like, King calls him Bright One. Yeah. I, I do see some fan art where it's like, here's everybody in color, but, like, Sifrin is still, like, like very pale, and then every, all the outfit is black and white, and I, I, I can get behind that. That is really good. Damn, you've been streaming for five hours? No. Got ya. <laughs> Pranked. If you go back in the VOD, the first three hours is just nothing. It's just me going, I'm gonna get that guy in a couple hours. <laughs> Ooh, Caroline. Whoa. It's stuck in my head. She's a Christian lady. She's a rotten... Recipe stealing bitch <laughs> Doris Careful who your friends are so good <laughs> These are cattails They're just fairly they're common water reeds and they're not edible. edible But don't you think they ought to be I actually prefer the version of that that's Len Vocaloid. Me want bite! <laughs> Me want plant corn dog delight! <laughs> Me want deep fried! Me think water twinky nice! <laughs> yeah, that's my Kagamine Len impression. <laughs> yes, I. I was gonna say, is that what Len sounds like? But then I went, I shan't. Wow. Sorry I can't voice a digital baby. 
<laughs> I hit the notes. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, and then you brought it up anyway. Chat, defend me. <laughs> Chat, kill. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please kill. <laughs> That'd be awesome if I had a flounder. Fuck. An ugly flounderless bitch. Hi, I'm cat. Make a mistake. I'm gonna do one more day try and catch a flounder because I want to get this raccoon. <laughs> She's upset. Why? Because I'm awake, but it's not time for her breakfast. This is Boomumo. Boomumo? We match. We're both bad cowboy bitches in black. <laughs> Hello, my wife. Alright. Make out. This is Gaku. He will one day destroy us all. Gaku. Gaku. No, sorry, it's Guku. Gaku is the fifth one. <laughs> this is Guku. He's much worse. <laughs> this is Guku, my horrible fail son. <laughs> 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 Will noise. That's what I have to do. When I have to breathe. Got you that badly. Yeah. Everybody goes through things differently. Image of two dogs, but one is short, going through a mud puddle. Jello, you're my best friend, and you make me laugh. That's great. I've reached a new level of understanding. <laughs> Jello will now die for you. Um, um, um. I imagine ancient berries taste like gushers if they were good. So like a fruit. Shell is a level 9 confidant for Vixen. I'm a level 10 confidant. I could ruin Vixen if I wanted. If I shan't. Hence the confidant. I'm quite confident. <laughs> yeah? about our children growing up surrounded by the smell of alcohol. Has she ever brought it up? No, she usually just talks about how she needs to stretch her legs and is going into town today. Then it's she, probably fine. I think she's seeing another woman. <laughs> Women famously be like, I'm going to tell you exactly what's worrying me. Cool sexism. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I get to do it. I'm a woman. Ain't you one of these, those age endies? That's true. But I'm a she they, so I, I hold on to my she. So I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. You would disagree with a woman? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Willie. How's the wife? I'm sorry. I forgot. To shreds, you say? 
By the way, Vixen, is everyone available for Hot to Full Boyfriend this weekend? It got rescheduled to next week, uh, but it's not going to get pushed again. It's on its final, the final day it can be on, so it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm killing them if they push it back again. We're not going to. Kill. <laughs> Gun. What the fuck? Murder. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> or rather, Aloha's doing his best. I hope I catch a flounder. I hope I catch a flounder. I actually don't remember if it's a flounder that I need. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a flounder. That was the last fun fact I liked. War veteran at the end of a flashback. That's a halibut. I'm not catching these things just for the halibut. I'm trying to catch a flounder. Am I doing Thousand Year Door Remake? I don't want to. Nintendo can get my money when they make a new good Paper Mario game. Uh-oh, boys morning! The boys are going to the island! I forgot to buy shit from the bookseller! I'm so stupid, I didn't even look at it. Shit, that's why I'm here. Fuck. I forgot how pretty Elliot is. I think he's kind of ugly. I married him once, so I can say that. Elliot's a freak who doesn't like pizza. Freak? I used to be obsessed with how to full boyfriend. I know all the insane lore. They are pigeons. Or are they? They are pigeons. Shh. <laughs> now no one's gonna watch the last stream. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're doing the final true route next stream. Uh, those of you who have been showing up to Hot the Fools, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you are not prepared. <laughs> I can't wait. Who doesn't like pizza? My cousin, Mick Flannery. Address is as follows. Get Sur him. Surprise Vixen jump scare. I've been here for like two and a half hours. I am Vixen. I am Vixen. Bro, I would love a fucking fish. I should have been more specific. All right. Let's check. Let's check with the raccoon to make sure. McFlannery, what are they, a gym leader? My mother's maiden name and mother's side of my family's last name is Flannery. Oh, you need halibut, do you? You fucker. <laughs> Jill, why are you fucking fish? I wouldn't fuck a fish. No, you sure wouldn't. Now we all know my security question info. No, I always use the what is your first pet name because it's my dad's a lunatic and it's an insane name that's it's it's like a Stardew Valley name, actually. No one will ever get it. I got one of these for you. I it's not enough for him. He wants a flounder. I was right. It was Boomoomo the whole time. <laughs> Yo, is that the voice actress of Shawnee LaFerre? No, she has a voice actor. She narrates the whole of the episode after the episode I stopped doing the abridged series. Were, the, was, were those correlated, or...? No, someone just asked. No, I mean, did you stop because it was a Chane episode? No, I stopped because all of them got taken down and my channel got two strikes. Damn. Don't tell us that, Jello. What, the Chane had a voice actor? <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. 
Someone asked if my boy in Bacano was Vino, and actually it was Jacuzzi. See, you can't predict me. Love me a boy who sounds like he's pissing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jacuzzi? What do you mean? Oh, you don't know who he is. That's why. Okay. I thought you were questioning my Jacuzzi? choice of boy. That's not a name. Guess what his last name is, Flair. <laughs> you won't, cower. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't me predicting you. I'm just down bad for Vino and I want allies. But also, what? Jacuzzi's cute. Jacuzzi's pretty good. I wish his insanely hot girlfriend did anything. Yeah. Jacuzzi Splot is a good character, but he's unfuckable. Niece Hollystone would disagree with you. And, and so I want to be like Niece Hollystone. And so would Jacuzzi's canonical grandson. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. As in he had children, not that his grandson wants to fuck him. I was like, wait, why hold on. Would, why would you think I meant that? It was the way you worded it. There we fucking go. Let's fucking go. Parentheses. Smoke a fish. I still don't have enough, though. I need... I need, um, what are they called? Little guys. Shellfish from the sea. I don't know. <laughs> Just googled and Jacuzzi looks like a wet cat. Exactly. I love a man who's a wet cat. Don't really gotta go watch fucking Bacchino, huh? Whoa, the wine the wine is ready. Wine is the ready. The wine gamers. is ready. All right. There we go. Let's smoke that fish. Smoke them if you got them. Requires one coal. I don't got them. He looks like a regular guy. That's just a dude. You got to go listen to his voice, Flair. Then you'll understand. That's a wet cat. Hmm. Selling jacuzzi spot with his voice. Interesting. I think he's cute. Is that a gun in your heart or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> That's funny if you've watched Baka now. Trust me. Trust me. I do think I told Joel, Joel, I was like, I did a Baka no bridge once and doing Jacuzzi's voice was so fucking hard. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. I love Joel. He's so fucking funny. Just a little weirdo. Just a little weird guy. Oh, it's already smoked. Smoke him if you got him. Jello, where do you watch Bacano? Bad news, gamers. On the DVD collection I own that's out of print. No pirate Oops. it. It's yeah, not there's... even fucking legally available. You, like, have to pirate it. There's nowhere to get it legally. Sag. Cockle. You gotta remember, guys, gals, and pals, Vixen's goal is to hurt the boy at the end of the day. If he comes slightly used and mostly confused, even better. You wow. get it. That's true. <laughs> oh, my best friend's a freak. What did you say that in response to? I, I don't remember. Are you wanting to fuck Clefable, I think? Yeah, I think so. And I just went, oh, my best friend's a freak. I don't want to fuck Clefable. It's an old joke. You do want to fuck Articuno. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Sighs loudly. What's with the blood pool? I don't understand the problem. <laughs> I don't understand the question. That's where my wife puts the body she doesn't want anymore. I'm not going to question why she needs bodies. 
You two have a very low bar for what constitutes a freak. You're outing yourself, chatter. Going to fuck the fable is freak behavior. It is freak behavior. Sorry about it. Sorry, I'm a freak. That's gonna be a lot of strawberry money. I wish I had more cockles. I wish I had more cockles. How do I make a crab pot? How do I make a crab pot? What do I put inside a crab pot to make it fucking work? Wood and an iron bar. Wood. Me and Flair both being they, she's just fucking fighting about if women or men are better. I'm uh, sorry, Flair. I can't get on your side. I only like very specific women. Vixen, the alleged biromantic. <laughs> so they say. Not even the woman I sent you? She's she's good, but I wish she was a man. Pew. Alright. That's enough. It's fucking late as hell. Yeah, it's almost five. Well, don't say words that are true. How much money did I get from Strawberry? Oh my god. A lot. That's pretty good. Don't you mean it's getting early? I'm William T. Sop. I love people <laughs> making fun of Will for that. He fucking deserves it. <laughs> Whoa, lightning. I'm just, lightning. I'm just going to check one thing at the beach and then turning the game off. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Shit. Alright. Cool. Alright, thanks for being here, chap. I'm going to bed. Good night. Someone clipped my really good song. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I need to navigate to OBS. Okay, bye.